not feeling all sluggish afterwards. I'm like, you know what? I think I can do it. I'm over here talking. This thing ain't even live yet. Now, now it's live. Okay. Yeah, cool. So <laughs> a three hour long live stream tonight. Awesome. I wasn't expecting this myself, but I'm feeling pretty good. I just ate some good, healthy food and I'm ready. I'm ready for something. I was like, man, what, what, what can I get into? What can I get into? I'm, I'm not a partier. I don't go out. So I'm like, you know what? Live stream, live stream. That's 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 the answer. But let me pull up here. We gonna wait till we get 250 live viewers in here, and then we are gonna get this thing started. That shouldn't take no time. It should be about about two minutes, two three minutes. We'll have that number, and then we will get this party rocking and rolling. We streaming on the Twitch. We streaming on the tube. Uh oh, yep, we already live on Twitch. Awesome. Okay, let me go live on the tube. Douche. All right, we already got 105 people in here. And I ain't even, look, I'm not even on the right screen yet. Got a question for my people though. Did y'all see the part two of my crazy neighbor that I posted a few hours ago? A part two. Y'all were asking for part two. I delivered on the part two. It looked like y'all enjoyed the part two as well. I got a couple of more stories in me that I can remember. Not of the crazy neighbor. That's the end of that story. But I do have a story that I want to share with you guys about some... Um, next door neighbors that I had or some upstairs neighbors I should say that were uh in the gang that was a crazy story some of y'all probably already seen that story I posted a quick snippet of it on TikTok a few days ago yeah we here baby it's here we had 152 live viewers waiting till we get to 250 and then we're going to get this thing rocking and rolling. I need to change the title of this video because truth be told, this is three hours. There we go. I like that title better. I like that title better. Make sure y'all hitting that like button as y'all pile up in here with your boy this evening so that we can go ahead and get to those 250 live viewers that much quicker. We're at 184. We're climbing. We're climbing. What's up, Mafia? Yup. Yeah, I heard Tommy Donald actually got a new music video coming out soon. I might be reacting to that. I should have been reacting to Nova music video. She's been dropping some heat lately. But let's go ahead and do some shout outs till we get our 250 live viewers. Dollar Silver, the first one up in here. Rochelle, Daniel, Knit and Crochet, Stranger, Candace, Cinnamon Cupcake, what's going on with you? Katie, Caddy, Candace, Shadante, what's good, what's popping? Jennifer, Hunted Expedition, Caroline, King Cole, Burgundy, what's up? I see my peoples up in here. Raymond, Kenny, what's going on with you? Camille, I see you. Anitria, Serenity, Hunt Expedition, if I ain't say it already, I'm saying it again, Sazzle Dazzle, Lee Taylor, Shadow Walker was good with you, was popping, new channel members in the building, Gold Millions was good, was good, good to see you, we is here, 205 is the number where we at right now with 100 likes, hit that like button for your boy, y'all, we trying to get a thousand likes by the end of this live stream. I don't never ask for the number to be that high, but hey, we're gonna be in here for about three hours. Some of us, a few of us, a couple of us. It, it, some of y'all ain't gonna make it. I already know. <laughs> I hope I make it because three hours is a quite a long time, you know what I'm saying? For us to be getting started at seven o'clock, you know. But we here. Special K says, I have your sticker on my car. Which sticker? My big face sticker or the alien sticker? I have a new sticker coming. I have a new sticker coming. 
Should I? Should I show y'all the new sticker? It's here already, technically. But if I give away what the sticker looks like, y'all are going to see what the new shirt is going to look like as well. If enough people say they want to see it, I'll show it. But if, if not, if y'all don't care, I ain't going to show y'all nothing. <laughs> I ain't showing y'all nothing. But we here. Y'all, we need two more live viewers. And then we can get started. Ugh, I heard that switch in my throat. That was crazy. <clears throat> oh, you got the big face sticker. I had a feeling it was the big face sticker. That, that's a suitable sticker. That's a suitable car sticker. They're like, who is this man? <laughs> Face on your car. <laughs> ah, I can just imagine my face on somebody's car. That would be funny. Y'all, that was a big jump. What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks. And just like that, we back with another one. Y'all, we got three hours of the paranormal tonight. I did come across one video that was about two hours long, which would have gave us our three hours. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? More than likely... This video is probably going to be full of clips that we've already seen before. I would much rather see some newer paranormal content. So I went searching. I went digging. And I came across some stuff that looked like it's going to be newer stuff that I haven't seen before. Just based on the thumbnails of these videos alone. So we got a handful of them. We're going to be ending it off with the legend himself, Nukes Top 5, at the end of the live stream. So make sure y'all stick to the very end or come back somewhere in between because y'all know the goat, the goat do it like no other. So we're going to check him out towards the end. But we're going to get started with a familiar face here. Y'all see the name on the screen? <laughs> Sir Spooks, baby. We go do. Oh no! Y'all want to see the sticker? Darn it! I I thought y'all forgot. I was trying to get y'all to forget, but y'all didn't forget. Now I gotta show y'all the sticker. I knew I shouldn't have said nothing. I'll be back. It's right here. It ain't that far. It's right here, right corner. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all see this whole book of stickers right here? This this the new sticker that's coming out with the new shirt that I'm getting samples made of right now. Um, so y'all remember the aliens are real graphics tees? Yeah, we're gonna do an I wish a Karen Wood graphic tee as well. Hold on, let me. Let me turn this off so y'all can see this green screen effect is messing it up because it's green in the sticker. Check this out, y'all. Check, check. Hold on. Check this. <laughs> y'all, why is this so funny to me? But y'all, this is the new I Wish a Karen Wood sticker that is going to be uh, a part of the little bundle sticker and t-shirt bundle that you'll get because we're going to do some I Wish a Karen Wood t-shirts. And don't ask me why Karen is a middle-aged white woman. <laughs> I use AI. I use AI to generate this Karen, and this is what it gave me. This is, this is what it gave me. But then I use my graphic designer to come up with the rest. And what's so dope about this is in the back back here. Hold on. Let it focus. Let it focus. In the back, it outlines what a Karen is. Those little small words, it outlines what a Karen is and what a Karen does. This is going to be a dope t-shirt. I, I can't wait. I'm super excited. I I'm dying. Oh, man. This junk is too funny. Okay. Let's get back to the show. Oh, man. See, I got the OG. The second generation I wish a Karen Wood shirt on right now. Oh man, I can't wait to I can't wait to these <laughs> Oh Yo, the Karen t shirts are the most popular t shirts I've ever released. They catch people's attention every single time. I, I still got a couple of these on the website. Very, very limited. Very, very limited. Most sizes are sold out. Something keep I swear to something in my beard, I don't know what it is. But man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. These stickers actually got here. 
I've been working on this design for a hot minute. They got here at the same time that the Aliens or Real stickers got here. But um, it's been a minute trying to get this shirt together for you guys. Because remember I told y'all my buddy works for Huff. And we're trying to get some dope, super dope quality when it comes to these shirts and hoodies and stuff. So we're about to get into this video. Y'all, this is Sir Spook's top 10 or 10 scary videos to never watch at night. Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 10 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you could help me get there. Alright, with that said, let's begin. This clip comes to us from a TikTok account known as PG Stories Official. In the video, we hear a woman explaining to the viewer that her and her kid just got back from eating dinner and noticed that her bedroom light was on for some strange reason. She says this weirded her out a lot because she did not remember leaving it on. At one point in the video, the uploader tells her kid to wait in the car while she goes on inside to have a quick look around just to make sure that everything is okay. However, as soon as she exits her vehicle, she notices this in her window. Listen, I'm going to walk inside real fast. I want you to wait out here for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, I want you, oh my God. Somebody broke an arm. Yeah, oh my God. Somebody broke an arm. Oh my God. Somebody broke an arm. Yeah. I don't know. Mom, go. Oh. Jaden, yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your IC, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. Okay. okay. Yo, this woman is already messing up. Okay, she's telling the kids to go next door to the neighbor's house. And she's about to go into this home, her home, their home. And clearly there's somebody, what looks like could be an intruder inside. She just told the kid, hey, if you hear me scream, call 911. No, woman, you need to stop recording, call 911 as you enter this house. If you decide that's what you're going to do. Okay. I wouldn't. I'd call 911 first, tell, let them come. Be like, hey, there's somebody in my house. Upon seeing this strange shadow-like figure in the window... The mother states that somebody definitely broke in, while her kid can be heard in a panicked and scared voice, telling her to get back in the car. While most people probably would have called the cops and left the scene immediately, she instead enlists her kid to call for help if something goes wrong, while she goes on inside to investigate. Sadly, just as she opens the door to investigate, the video abruptly ends and we are left wondering what exactly happened after the footage ended. Do you think that there really was a shadow figure looming in their house, or was it actually a home invader like she suspected? Both of the voices of the kid and mother seemed quite authentic in how scared they were. What do you make of this eerie footage? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. This video was uploaded to the YouTube channel UFO Today all the way back on October 28, 2009 and is without a doubt one of the creepiest pieces of potential UFO footage out there. The footage in question was filmed at an undisclosed location in the middle of the night and shows something utterly baffling and creepy at the same time. At first, we see a large UFO mothership hovering around, which is already quite creepy as is. But things quickly escalate when this happens. Take a look. Oh, I remember this clip. This is pretty cool looking, honestly. Like, even if this is not real, how they get it up in the air like that? Look at that. Look at that. That's dope. There's so many things happening right now. That's crazy. It's like the mothership is spitting down these little pods and they're just, 
I don't know what they're doing. They're having a field day. Like that. Man. It immediately becomes clear that there isn't just one UFO flying around in the sky, but rather several small ones. Yep, they're about to scatter across the planet and, and ain't no telling what they're doing. They're probably doing some reconnaissance. Despite the fact that this video was well over a decade old at this point, nobody has ever been able to properly explain what exactly is going on in this video, and whether or not it's real or all some cleverly edited piece of footage. Sheila, thank you for the five dollar donation, big baby. And Mandy, the for the aliens, I mean for the um, Karen T-shirts, I do plan on having them in a five XL. That's part of the reason why it's taking so long to get them out. Expenses like these, it because I gotta find a good supplier for a five X. The month to afford that one important thing. Thankfully, Dave is here to help with extra cash. If you have unexpected expenses like this but I need of cash to get the help you deserve. Then, Dave is the banking app that's leveling the financial playing field. When you download Dave, you could get up to $500 in five minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. Advance the money you need with no interest and then settle up later. Extra cash gives you more money to buy groceries, fill your tank, finally get your car repaired or catch up on bills without having to wait for your next paycheck. You can even build credit when you settle up on time. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to make their finances easier. So if you're in a pinch, get the help you need by downloading Dave. Download Dave today at dave.com slash spooks. That's dave.com slash spooks. You could get up to $500 in five minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. Download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash spooks. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. Thank you, Dave, for sponsoring today's video. A man named Eric Wood posted this chilling video to his TikTok account on May 26, 2023, and show some eerie footage that looks to have been filmed on a home security camera system that he had set up in the house somewhere. The footage in question may be quite grainy, so it's unfortunately a bit hard to make out precise and sharp details as to what exactly we're supposed to be looking at. It's Super Potato 99, in other words. But nonetheless, the footage is definitely unsettling. Have a look. I can't see. I see what look like could be two glowing eyes, maybe? A big maybe because Potato 99 is in full effect right now. Did I just hear a growl? Oh, yep. Yeah, those gotta be eyes the way they just moved. Who banging? The video shows a pair of two glowing eyes that seem to belong to what appears to be some sort of dogman or werewolf. How can it appear to be a dogman or werewolf? Just because they said, is that a dogman or a werewolf? Why do they have to belong to a dogman or werewolf to glow? Because human eyes don't usually glow like this? What if it's alien? What if it is a different cryptic? I don't know. Staring into the camera in an extremely menacing manner. To this day, nobody's entirely sure what Eric managed to capture on camera that day. Let's just hope that whatever it is, if it's real, doesn't try to haunt him on a day-to-day -day basis from here on out. No, Andrew, thank you guys for making my Friday night. This next video was posted on the wildly popular UFO subreddit, which contains pictures and videos of exactly that, interesting and chilling UFO sightings from around the world. Hey y'all, for the 500 of you who are here now, we're trying to get a thousand likes by the end of this live stream if y'all wouldn't mind helping a brother out. I appreciate it. This particular piece of footage was filmed on August 30th in Poland. The upload of- Wait, August 30th of what year? 
video also posted this paragraph of text alongside the video to give viewers a bit of context. Quote, So it was 7 p.m. my local time, almost sunset. I was riding on my bicycle, training after work, on the local road near a highway leading to Lublin. You can hear cars noise. Then suddenly I saw an airplane with trails and two white round-shaped objects, which were flying parallel to each other with the same speed, without audible noise of engines, like a plane. I took a video, I was trying to focus on these objects, but you know how it works with a normal camera in a smartphone. Anyway, aircraft flew into large rainy clouds and these objects maintained their speed and disappeared in clouds too. I was checking the sky for a while, then I went straight ahead. It was strange, but I'm aware that in eastern Poland, there is a bigger NATO military presence due to the war in Ukraine, so it could be it. I leave it to you. P.S. I'm a space passionate. I look almost every night at the night sky, and I saw a couple times strange objects with erratic movement. That's why I wanted to post this video here. Cheers. End quote. The video is definitely quite fascinating and it is guaranteed to make you think and scratch your head in utter bewilderment. What in the world could be going on here that makes rational sense? Perhaps a real extraterrestrial spacecraft would be the most rational explanation. But this may end up being a mystery that never gets properly solved. I've never seen that clip before, that was fascinating. A Reddit username PretendQuote7580 posted this eerie piece of security camera footage online that is creeping people out all around the world, and for a very good reason, as you're about to see. The footage in question was filmed at a mall in the middle of the night, where all is extremely quiet and uneventful. The person who was watching over the security cameras was probably quite bored with nothing to Okay, I can't help it. Where what where is this at? Because I've never seen shopping carts with handles like this before. It's kind of cool. Do, but likely got the shock of their life when they ultimately saw this happen. All right, what's riding that thing? Is it electronic and it just mount functioning right now? Kind of crazy. Look at that. This is going in circles. Yo, this thing just took off and started going in circles for a long time, too. This thing gonna go in circles till the battery die, if there is a battery. Out of nowhere, a strange sort of toy can be seen moving around the mall floor seemingly all by itself. The upload of the video states that it's possible that there could be a simple battery problem with this particular toy, right. which would cause it to roam around like that. But other people are not entirely sure about that and seem to be convinced that this is the work of a paranormal entity. What do you think about this video? Does it show proof that even ghosts like to play around with the toys? Or was this a weird battery malfunction on the toy? Be sure to let me know. That's really crazy to think about because that thing just, it it was parked, propped up against the wall and it just perfectly just took off and went into a full circle. This next video comes to us from a TikTok user simply known as UFO Alien Guy and is definitely quite short in length, but it is without a doubt a very puzzling piece of footage. The video shows a man recording around outside at sunset, seemingly with nothing of interest going on. We are looking at a bush when all of a sudden, something genuinely terrifying happens. Take a look. Hello? What the what? What the what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? At first I thought that was an owl. Yo, look at that! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Look at the eyes, y'all. Look at the way the eye blinked. It was so big. That gotta be an alien. That's like an alien. Look at 
this. Look at the eye blink. It's so Suddenly, big. An extraordinarily creepy gray face Woo! can be seen peering out from behind the bushes. I felt like something touched my neck. Causing the uploaders to step back a few steps. That's crazy. At one point, it almost looks as if the strange creature is getting ready to get closer to the uploader. But the video ends before we are able to see what happens next. After watching this video, almost Dang Renee, you ain't had to tell us all your business. Talking about she was watching a live stream from the toilet. Gotcha. Most everyone on TikTok became convinced that this TikTok user yeah. managed to capture She said FTL, first toilet live. To videographic <laughs> evidence of the existence of aliens and extraterrestrial life. But what do you make of this weird piece of footage? The lanky creature definitely appears to be alien in nature, but is it possible that this was just something else altogether? Could this simply be some guy in a costume? We may never know. This next video comes to us from a user on TikTok known as the Movie Guy 11. In the video, he provides some context before we Thank you, Donna. She says she loved this facial expression. Quote, My friend filmed these two today in Yellowstone and thought that they were a bear at first. Then when he rewatched it, he realized they were on two feet. End quote. Definitely quite intriguing, so let's take a look, shall we? Like people walking maybe all of the beautiful greenery aside there is definitely something quite odd about this footage it all appears fine until you look closely and see what's odd is this is yellowstone national park right this is back from what august a few months ago of this year why does the footage look so bad are they zoomed in from really far that would explain it but other than that god the potato 99 two seemingly quite tall creatures roaming around the area. As the story goes, the uploader after filming the video showed the video to park rangers, who confidently told him that he managed to capture the elusive Bigfoot on camera. Shout out to Adam, thank you for the donation, Big Bird. Do you think that this TikToker actually filmed videographic evidence of Bigfoot, or was this just something else? Either way, it's quite interesting to watch. When you picture your local grocery store, you probably just think of it as a place to, well, buy some groceries. However, as it turns out, not even simple places such as those are safe from terrifying activity. Adam said he gonna try to get one of his videos on my channel. What, what videos you talking about, Adam? You said you've been here since the shoe review days. Ha! I, look, I didn't do shoe reviews. I did sneaker restorations. That's how I know you're lying. <laughs> This YouTube video was published online by a man simply identified as Christopher on July 27th, 2008. It shows surveillance camera footage from the Delhi Isle of a store somewhere in Connecticut. The security camera footage starts off normal as we watch a boring night that suddenly becomes- Man, the Potato 99 is so real here. They need to just throw away their security system and not have one. Because if you're going to have one this bad, What's the point? You can't even see who the surveillance was. I mean, you <laughs> if there's a criminal that come in and steal, all you're going to see is that there was a criminal that came in and steal. No facial features. You won't be able to make it out. Throw it away. Just don't, you don't even need it. Don't even, if you ain't going to do it right, don't do it at all. It's rather eventful quickly. Look, I can't even tell. What is this? Is this a person or an ATM machine? 
That's pathetic. Y'all need to just throw it out. Just throw it out. Get rid of it. You don't need cameras. See the chair moving? Could be a string, but we'll never know because we can't see nothing. What in the string is going on here? <laughs> Annette, if it's, 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 it's going on three in the morning. If you don't take your butt to bed, you is not going to make it to the end of this live stream. You in Africa. Many objects in this doll can be seen getting moved around in an unnatural manner for several seconds before the video cuts off abruptly. In the description of the post, Christopher also says that the owner of the store saw the condition of the place the following morning and proceeded to call the police. The police report lists it as an unexplained phenomenon, which is surely an understatement. Apparently, the location was also used as a rum running location during- Why they call the police if they looked at the surveillance footage to see what happened and didn't see nobody do nothing? All they saw was some chairs move. Nothing was stolen. What you calling the poli police for? You wasting time. During prohibition. To this day, the unexplained phenomenon here has yet to be explained, and it likely never will be. This horrifying video will be sure to make your heart beat right out of your chest. As much as I love this family and their videos, we've seen this mess about 50 11 times. It shows security camera footage that was filmed inside of this family's home in the middle of the night. All is peaceful and quiet until suddenly a young boy's voice can be heard crying out somewhere in the house. Immediately, the father of the child comes to see what's going on but there's just one problem. As it turns out, that was not his child. Yeah, but it was the same size as his child. The voice that you heard crying was actually coming from an alleged paranormal entity. This whole video feels like something you'd see in a horror movie. Of course, we cannot prove that this video was real, but it definitely feels quite authentic. And if it is, then we can only hope and pray that this poor family gets out of that house as soon as possible. UFO sighting videos usually depict the flying saucer in question as being in the shape of, well, a saucer. However, UFOs are not always that shape, as this next video from Reddit proves. Posted to the UFO subreddit, the footage was filmed by the Reddit user who was riding on an airplane one day in the window seat when he looked out at the sky and saw something rather odd. Take a look. That definitely appears to be some sort of UFO for sure, but strangely enough, it appears to be in the shape of a Tic Tac, just like the famous Tic Tac UFO caught on video by fighter pilots back in 2004. A statement from the uploader reads as follows, quote, was flying over Nevada 
near Nellis Air Force Base. I noticed this object outside the window. It was a little closer before I started filming, and visibly no wings or tail. Clearly. It seemed to also be a little fat, scientific term, to be a plane. I showed this to multiple airline crew members, including the pilot, and they stated that it was definitely not a plane. To be sure, I filmed planes at roughly the same distance, and you could clearly see wings and were much thinner. I tried stabilizing the video as much as I could. I noticed it had a distinct tic-tac shape to it, so I got a little, oh, what could this be? A little excited. End quote. So, next time you see a weird object in the sky that doesn't appear to be in the shape of a saucer, just remember that it could very well be a UFO. And that was 10 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all, we got through it. We got through the first video. Now it's time for the next one. Y'all, Sir Spooks is at it again. This time, we got 13 scary videos that will freak you out. This was even longer than the last one. Let's go. Somebody said, Hello, was, everyone. Oh. My name is Sir. Somebody said that like a flying cigarette. Spooks. Hey, y'all, hit that like button. We try to get a thousand likes by the end of the live stream. We got 700 people in here, big baby. And today, we'll take a look at 13 scary videos. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you help me get there. Alright, with that said, let's begin. The following video comes to us from a Reddit user who posted the clip online, saying that the footage was filmed in York, a place in which he says is historically haunted. Let's take a look at the video and see what he's talking about. Bruh, this bike is riding itself. Look at this. Oh, that it didn't stop perfectly. Oh, and now it falls over. That's crazy. The video in question shows a bicycle seemingly being ridden around on the sidewalk without anybody actually on it. The bicycle continuously moves around until it randomly falls over onto its side before the video ultimately cuts out. Now, it's not specified whether or not there was a ton of wind or anything that day, but even if there was wind, that wouldn't cause the bicycle to be moving around in the way that it did. So what could have been going on here? It's difficult to say for sure, since we lack a bit of context. Do you think that there was a paranormal entity riding this bike around? Was this actually just the wind, or was it achieved with the help of visual effects? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it, because it was moving quite slowly. Visual effects, it looked like a real bike to me. I don't know. The wind, I feel like, I don't feel like the wind would have done that unless the wind was blowing extremely hard. This is a video that sadly doesn't have a whole lot of context given to it, but it is nevertheless one of the creepier videos that I've seen in a while. In the footage, we watch as a man traverses his way through a snowy forest in the middle of the night, all by himself. Now obviously, the first mistake this man made was traveling around here at night by himself. He should have brought someone along with him in case something were to happen, which of course it does. The man spends the first few seconds of the video audibly panicking about something that we cannot see. But just going off what he says, it sounds terrifying. Take a look. That's something coming down, man. I got something screaming down there. I don't know what this is, man. Something screaming down there, man. Bruh. Whatever that is, it sounds terrifying. You might want to get the heck up out of there. And I hope you got weapons. Emphasis on weapons, plural weapons, because you gonna need them. Hello? 
Where are you? You know what? I take I take back what I said. Let it get you. Whatever it is, it, you deserve it. You don't sit here and ask, where are you? Do you hear what that noise is? You shouldn't want to know where that thing is. You should want to know where the nearest exit is, my guy. You better hope there's a portal nearby that you can jump through to get away from whatever that noise is. Because elsewise, you're screwed. Show yourself right now! This man just said, show yourself right now. What are you going to do about it, huh? Get eight up? Get ripped to shreds? If it shows itself, boy, boy I swear, people stupid. They real stupid, ain't they? Okay. This is why I said it, you deserve to get got. Get him. Something big moving in there, man. Something real big, guys. Get him. Whatever it is. What the? Shit, man. At one point in the video, if you look carefully, you can see some eyes staring out at the uploader from the distance, which just makes this already creepy video 10 times creepier. Many people have suspected that this man managed to have an encounter with a Wendigo that day. What the heck is a Wendigo? God, all these mythical creatures I ain't never heard of or seen before. A Wendigo? I just thought he meant that it was Wendy out there ago wendigo is a mythological creature of what the heck is this why i look like a deer that's standing upright with long flowy hair in the wind to go evil spirit originating from the folklore of plains and great lakes natives <sighs> as well as some first nations it is based in and around the east coast forests of canada the great plains region of the united states the canadians would have different mythical creatures out there the wendigo who came up with that name and the great lakes region of the united states and canada grouped in modern ethnology and, uh, look at that an upright deer with long arms that's crazy this is a just a deer with rabies that's or he got dipped in some freaking some radioactive chemical waste or something speakers of algonquin family languages the wendigo is often said to be a malevolent spirit sometimes depicted as a creature with human-like characteristics which possesses human beings the wendigo is said to invoke feelings of insatiable greed or hunger the desire to cannibalize other humans and the propensity to commit murder and those that fall under its influence what do you guys think do you think this TikTok user managed to actually have an encounter with a real Wendigo, or was it something much less sinister? So I see y'all are calling cap on this and saying some people on Twitch are saying that the the um, the audio sounded different on whatever that noise was that it was making, but somebody also said that it sounded like a person is yelling through one of those little microphones that distorts your voice. But I did notice the audio levels change or something happened that made me feel as though the audio was added in in post-production. I thought that was interesting. Whatever it actually is, we can all hope and pray that it's the latter. Somebody said the whole world is haunted. Right. In a way, it is kind of if you think about it. This TikTok user recorded the video that you're about to watch on October 10th, 2020, at 1010. The video in question shows the uploader recording outside his car window as the driver passes by various different buildings. The man filming the video can be heard being audibly freaked out about what he's looking at, but for a long while, we cannot see what it is. But if you look closely here, you can sort of make it out. 
I, I can see it clearly with my eyes, but I can't see it on the freaking camera. It looks like a man walking, don't it? I see what? I see Ooh, walking. what is that? Bro, that looks like somebody walking. It looks like someone walking. Dang, it do kind of look like somebody walking in the sky. That's kind of cool. I see what? I see Ooh, walking. what is that? Bro, that looks like somebody walking. It looks like someone walking. Glitch, my it looks like someone walking. Bro, it looks like someone's walk. Is that a person running around in the sky? It sure looks like it, and that's exactly what the man filming the video thought it looked like as well. But surely that can't be, right? The uploader said that he initially thought it was just an extremely weird looking helicopter, but the longer he looked at it, he realized that it certainly wasn't any kind of helicopter. So it begs the question, what exactly did this TikToker manage to capture on camera that night? Is this proof that humanoids exist? It's quite a fascinating video to say the least. A Reddit user says that he was simply trying to take some nice photographs inside of a field on a cold autumn day. All was going well. The man took the photos and proceeded to go on with the rest of his day. However, it wasn't until later on when he actually stopped to look through the photos and truly analyze them that he realized that he may have taken a genuinely terrifying picture. Look at this. Okay. Don't look scary to me. Like a person, a little person, a tiny person, a lady person walking. Among the normal looking photos, one of them stands out immensely. In it, what appears to be an extraordinarily tiny person can be seen walking across the field in a strange manner. Exactly. The upload also states that he has no idea who or what this could possibly be. But agrees that it def you know it also looks interesting too like it looks like an actual photo until you zoom into whatever it is that it supposedly is a tiny person that's walking that's when it looks like a painting definitely looks to be some sort of tiny person it is quite an eerie photograph next time this reddit user goes outside to do a mini photo shoot he certainly is going to be on edge This next video is quite mysterious in origin. Nobody really knows what was going on inside of the uploader's house before this video was filmed, but it definitely seems as though the house is haunted by something. Throughout the video, we see the uploader slowly zooming in on something in the distance. For the first little while, we can't really get a good look as to what exactly it is. I don't see nothing. What we do know, oh. however, is that it seems to be hiding underneath someone's bed. Is that a big head on the floor? Bruja Real se convierte en gato. Hay algo allá atrás afuera. Que estamos viéndolo. ¿Quién eres? ¿La qué? Tú no eres un gato. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, ¿qué es eso? Vete de aquí, ¿quién eres? No, there ain't no cat. Don't go up in there. You see that? ¿Qué es eso? Like a big head. Oh, mate, maybe it is a cat. ¿Quién eres? Maybe that is a cat. Maybe the, the bad camera, the camera, the, the low light is making the camera look like it's bad quality, which is making it look like it could be a white cat with a black head, but we're only seeing the white of the cat and then making it look like a big head on the floor. Tú no eres un gato. Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. No manches. No manches. ¿Qué es eso, Regina? Se abrió la puerta. No manches. Apparently, I partially understood what she was saying. This is none other than a witch who seems to be mimicking a cat, probably trying to lure the homeowners into a false sense of security. 
She probably wants them to come closer and then when the moment is right, do something unspeakable to them. It's amazing just how calm and collected this videographer was while this whole incident was going on. Right. I know for sure that most people would not have been able to keep their composure in such a circumstance. A lot of y'all are saying that's not a cat. It might not be. It might be like what was being said here, that that was indeed a, a witch that was trying to lure them in using cat-like sounds. But why would they use a cat? If, did these people have a cat? If they had a cat, it would make sense. But if they didn't, it wouldn't make any sense because I'm not falling for it. And for good reason. Let's just hope that, which or not, this uploader looked into moving out of that house immediately after this video was filmed. A YouTuber named Leo Tree posted the following video to his channel all the way back on May 15th, 2008. It may be quite a pixelated video, but it's heart-poundingly scary nonetheless. The footage in question shows a group of men wandering around a cave and filming their findings. When they first enter the cave at around the 25 second mark, nothing of note happens and it stays that way for a little while. The cave itself is quite eerie, but that's it. However, things start to change near the two and a half minute mark, when the group of friends begin to hear some strange noises followed by something genuinely unthinkable. Yeah, we're almost halfway to our goal of a thousand likes. Hit that like button for your boy. There's 830 of y'all in there. I know we can get at least 500 in a minute. Have a listen and have a look. <laughs> Tanti posti belli che ci stanno, non c'è avanti, è così dipinto meglio. Uh, 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 no, Alessio, uh, uh, uh. no, non fa così, no. Uh, Mariela. Dang, it's dark up in there. Y'all need some flashlights. Yeah, What are doing? Why are you recording with no light? Come on now. Rule number one. <laughs> If something do jump out and get you, we ain't gonna see it. Si, infatti, ma poi... Lugrube. Un po'? Lugrube. Like, please. Y'all would be able to hear where the strange noises is coming from if y'all had some light. Huh? How four of y'all ain't got no light? Not a lighter? <sighs> How that face got light? Whatever it is, y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve to get got because y'all went in there without no light or no weapons. Y'all stupid. Because look, whatever that was, is giving cap, is giving mask, is giving, they're trying to pull one over our heads. That's why they went in the dark, so we would be fooled by their foolishness. But we ain't stupid. First, the men hear some truly scary noises coming from somewhere nearby. But before they get a proper chance to dart their way out of there, a ghostly face can be seen. It's then that the men do everything in their power to get out of the cave. The video then abruptly ends, meaning that we do not really know what happened to the men after the video ended. Let's just hope that these men are holding up okay all these years later and are not still being haunted by this strange ghost. You call that a ghost? Shout out to Green Eyes for the $20 dollar dono. Thank you, big baby. A woman named Laura Combs posted this video to her TikTok account where she writes a description that gives a little bit of context, stating, quote, I woke up to my dogs jumping on me to see outside, end quote. Confused, Laura then decided to pull out her cell phone to start recording because something that she heard was genuinely starting to freak her out. Take a listen for yourself. There's a 
a lot of knocking going on. Golly, what's wrong with your bed? She is struggling to get up out this bed. Uh, 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 I used to date a woman that had a bed that you just sink into like that. And I would make all them type of noises too just to make it to the edge of the bed where I was already at. I'm like... Struggling. Turn off the flash, lady. We ain't gonna be able to see who out there. You really gonna open? She is dumb. 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 Why would you open the window? You don't have to open the window to see who outside, child. She just opens it up all quick without, without first getting a good glance of who the heck out there knocking on her window. You deserve to get got. I'm telling you, look, you do, do stupid stuff, get get stupid results. <sighs> I hope it jump in your window, whatever it is. Y'all What she see? I ain't see that. After the third knock is when Laura said she got incredibly scared. What she see? Y'all see it? I ain't see it. And who can blame her? It's definitely quite odd that all of these knocking noises were heard and yet nobody was there. Who could possibly have been knocking? Nobody knows. And to make things worse, at the end of the video, a voice can be heard that truly startled Laura. Laura says that she is currently in contact with somebody to come and bless the house and surrounding area. Let's just all hope that does enough to ward off whatever strange visitor she's getting. A man on TikTok known as Win McPicks posted the following video to his account in which he strongly advises his viewers that they should never answer to knocking noises. Let's show you exactly why. So I don't know if you're gonna see what I'm seeing, but <laughs> this is on we repeat. This happens over and over. And then the knock. He said, this is on repeat. This happens over and over. We just saw a shadow figure walk by. Can you have the knocking? We've probably seen this before. There it is, and it just goes and goes. Not 50 11 times, but we've seen it. Till you talk. A couple of times. Stop. Can you stop, please? It's just right there. Hey, that thing disrespectful. He asked it to stop and it bang harder. Like, no, I won't. The knocking noises that Win McPicks are hearing get increasingly louder by the second, causing him to ask the potential spirit to please stop. Of course, th there ain't no way. There ain't no way. I'm not living in this house like this. No. You can have a house, Mr. Ghost spirit because I, I look i ain't gonna be able to sleep ever because i ain't no telling what you might do to me this doesn't work but it's this part of the video that's scariest that's new okay bet you won't go sit in that chair whatever you are you gotta go Yeah, I don't like that. I thought this, see, look, this is what I'm talking about. This is why he got to go. He got to get up out of this house. I thought this man got knocked out and I felt it through the screen. See, no, nah, uh-uh, not me. It couldn't be me. I'm leaving right now and I'm not coming back until somebody come out. It. I need somebody to come bless the house and live there for a whole month 
just to make sure that, that, that the spear is gone. I need a month. You got to stay there. I'm, I'm going to let you stay here for a whole month to make sure the spirits is up and out of here. Once you sure that they gone, I, 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 need, I need them to be gone for about three weeks. Three weeks will assure me that they gone for real. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. Is Winnie McPig stealing with some sort of shadow person? It's entirely possible based on the video we just watched. And it seems as if a lot of other commenters think so as well. However, there's also the possibility that this was just a visual effect. What do you think he's dealing with? It, that spirit looked like a visual effect, I know that much. Just let me know your theories in the comment section down below. This next video was posted to the wildly popular UFO subreddit by a user known as Inkmajor530. And it has been the topic of discussion online for the past two weeks now. In the description of the post, Ink Major provides us with a nice write-up that gives us all some much needed context. They write, quote, On the evening of September 2nd, 2023, my friend and her husband witnessed two illuminated objects moving quickly throughout the sky. They said the first one moved so fast they couldn't get their phone out in time, but they were able to catch the second one. It's turning around. What in the world is that? My initial thought was perhaps they were racing drones as a buzzing can be heard in the background. But after talking with them in greater detail about what they witnessed, they said the object was silent and that the noise was from the neighbor's kid riding his dirt bike. The noise doesn't match up with the speed or thrust of the object, so perhaps it could be something else. If anybody can enhance or do an analysis, it would be welcomed. Object appears to be at least 400 plus feet above and both illuminated a radiant white to a very light blue." End quote. A lot of people in the comment section are absolutely fascinated by the video footage, with many believing that the footage is 100% authentic and shows a legitimate UFO. Do you believe that this video is authentic or not? It is a legitimate UFO as far as us as viewers are concerned because we can't identify it. That's what a UFO is, an unidentifiable flying object. Be sure to tell me your answer and why in the comments below. A YouTuber named Ghost on Trend uploaded a shorts video to his channel in which he wanders around a haunted graveyard in the middle of the night, which just sounds like a bad idea. But, alas, he goes ahead and conducts the investigation anyway. At one point in the video, he can be heard talking to the spirit out loud, and then a few seconds later, this happens. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Thanks for that. Did he well, see that on camera? You were willing to talk to us then? Communicate? Or even with his own two eyes? Out of nowhere, a ghost can be seen slowly wandering by the camera in the distance before it ultimately disappears without a trace, much to the shock and awe of everyone. This is definitely one of the most simplistic yet goosebump inducing videos that I've seen in quite some time. Do you think that this video shows a legitimate spirit wandering around a graveyard? Let me know. Y'all, we hit over 500 likes. I appreciate y'all, but hey, we trying to get to a thousand. Hit that like button for your boy. A YouTuber known as The Fam posted this shorts video to their channel, claiming that they managed to capture footage of the scariest ghost ever, which is quite the bold claim. The uploader shown to be outside wandering around in the middle of the night, seemingly doing some sort of investigation for his viewers. All is going well until out of nowhere this happens. Hear a noise. Looks like a fucking maze. 
What the hell is that? What the? Hear a noise. Looks like fucking a mace. What the hell is that? What the? The uploader then plays the footage one more time, but instead of playing the actual video clip itself, he put the SD card back into his camera because he says that when he just watched the clip, he couldn't see anything. But when he watched it on his actual camera, it's a different story. All right, guys, I'm going to play that back for you again. Wait till you see what's coming. What the heck is that? It looks headless, the whatever it is. The video itself is definitely quite unsettling, but it does beg the question. Why is the entity on the SD card video, but not on the transferred video? It's quite strange, to say the least. Is this footage faked, or is there actually a ghost wandering around that this YouTuber was freaked out over? Be sure to let me know your opinion in the comments. On February 16th, 2007, a YouTube channel by the name of Strabambolo posted this eerie footage online, which showcases one of the most bafflingly bizarre and unsettling UFO cases of all time. Have a look. Bruh, stop the cap. That looks so fake. <laughs> Bro, that looks so fake. Um, oh my god. If that's not the cappiest cap of the cap caps I'd have never seen. What in the cap is happening? Sorry, Johnson, to hear about your mother. Thank you for the done no, Hope she gets well soon. This footage has been around for some time. It was released in the U.S. by researcher Paola Harris at the 36th Annual International MUFON Symposium in Denver, Colorado in 2005. Paola lives in Italy and was given a fourth-generation copy by an anonymous source who told her the video was recorded in Aviano, Italy near the infamous Aviano Air Base, center of a UFO controversy. According to Paula Harris, the original videographer remains unknown and the object seems to be terrestrial in origin, more properly some kind of military prototype remote controlled. The feature in which the disc disappears at the end raises questions for the Italian researchers and Paula thinks the military may be involved. Paula Harris mentioned that this was clearly a flight test, since the videographer was in position, focusing the camera where the disc appears initially. The object is not CGI. The footage was analyzed in Boulder, Colorado, and they concluded this was a physical object, most probably a remote control prototype. The case still remains inconclusive. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This video by YouTuber Chasing the Darkness is one that is definitely going to make it difficult for you to sleep peacefully at night, as he explores an extremely creepy old abandoned house. The first 17 minutes of the video is him showing his old encounter, which I featured in a video back in the day, where he came face to face with an alleged cultist. Then later on, he shows his new investigation at the same location, and things get crazy. As he's making his way outside, all appears to be quite calm. That all changes, however, when he bumps into this. Yasu, thank you for the $10 donut. No, no, we in here, baby. I appreciate the donuts this evening, you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. God, look. Yo. What up, Sarah? It's your favorite YouTuber. We in here, baby. Statues. And now this is a pretty good camera right here. I like it. Um, it's like the demonic statues. What 
Don't walk in there. Them some little evil statues. Look at that. This is like, oh my God, yo. You guys know anything about this, let me know. Evil. Despite this terrifying encounter, nope, not me. the uploader nevertheless continues to press forward and continue onward with his journey, which was probably a mistake as just a few minutes later, he gets yet another scare. Something's down there. <laughs> the heck is that? That's right, Danny. We lit, baby. At this point, most people would be quite freaked out and would be hurrying to leave. Heck yeah. I mean, after all, he did just see some strange person slash. Bro, I'm about to get out of there so quick, bro. You would think I was never there. Big guy, walking up the stairs, wearing. I'ma be running so fast, whatever's down there, wish it could catch me. What looks to be a plague doctor mask. But I guess this YouTuber was just feeling super brave. Just a few minutes later though, and this happens. Oh, no, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, my God. <gasps> I'm going to get up this island. I know I can see it, but I hear somebody up there. I'm probably looking for something. Oh, look right there. No way. It's going to peak. Sorry, y'all. I had to get comfortable right quick. I wasn't comfortable. <laughs> I was like, I need some cushion on this chair or something. I don't think so. Oh, it's peaking now. Nah, chair, bro. Pretty sure he saw you, bro. Yeah, that's not human, bro. That is not human. Pretty sure There's he saw you, bro. Face. Yo, what? What is doing? Dude, that's a. No fucking way. Chasing the Darkness is a YouTuber that is very well known for his videos of him exploring creepy abandoned places. I think it's all. But it's likely that he won't ever want to return to this place ever again. And it's hard to blame him. And that was 13 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all, we is here. Hold on, I got to send a quick, a quick text out. Right. On to the next one, but baby, yeah. I think this would be a good time for some scary comp V82. It's, it's bizarre, bub, baby. It's been a while. Let's go. At night, when a girl named Pershka. It's late at night when a girl named Pershka records a video in her kitchen. 
the purpose. I already know the clip. I already know the clip. So the video is to show an ice machine that she recently purchased as there's something about it that creeps her out. The ice maker, according to her, makes a very strange noise during the late hours of the night. So one night, as the ice machine makes its unusual noise, Hershka heads over to the kitchen to record the sound. But as she records this video, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. What was supposed to be a short, random video turned out to be a terrifying clip that Pershka has recently taken down for unknown reasons. She didn't say why she took down the clip, but it seems that the video itself says it all. Have a look. Y'all saw that? Someone was standing there by that ice maker. Like a scene out of a horror movie, Pershka walks into the kitchen and captures for just a split second the figure of a little girl. Even creepier is that whoever this was just disappears as soon as the lights turn on. It's for this reason that viewers believe she had taken down the clip, as otherwise it would continue to remind her of this disturbing incident. Whatever was captured has left her extremely unsettled. Even though this video was taken a few years ago, it is still unknown as to whether or not Pershka had captured something paranormal on camera. In the early 2000s, there used to be an abandoned asylum in Massachusetts known as Danvers State Hospital. Before shutting down in 1992, the asylum had an estimate of 3,000 patients, all of whom were severely mentally ill and poorly treated. Nurses who used to work here recall seeing horrifying things that continue to haunt them to this day. From patients walking around in their own filth due to a lack of basic hygiene, to patients receiving forced lobotomies that would often leave them in a much worse state than before. Employees of the Danvers State Hospital are haunted by these terrible memories. However, aside from the past, the asylum is infamous for being extremely creepy. After shutting down in 1992, teens would come here after hearing rumors that the building was haunted. Although this next video wasn't taken by a trespassing teen, it was taken by a curious security guard back in 2000 whose job was to look after the historic building. But little did he know that he would capture something very strange while exploring the basement of the asylum. Take a look. You know it's some crazy spirits up in there. The same asylum? Nope. Not me. Yo, what was that? Y'all saw that? There was something in there. It's a bit hard to see at first, but as the night guard pans the camera to a room inside the basement, a shadowy figure can Woo! be seen moving slowly inside. Not me. The guard doesn't notice the figure until much later after rewatching the footage. Naturally, he was left shaken up after seeing what appears to be a slender looking silhouette walking further into the room as if trying to hide from him. Mind you, the basement of this building is completely inaccessible to outsiders, so there's no way that a trespasser could have been inside. It's no wonder that viewers believe something supernatural was captured. But of course, the question is begged. Just what- Yeah, Felicia, I saw um, Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's, but I don't remember if I saw the new exorcism, exorcism movie. Let me, let me check. What exactly was caught on camera? Whether ghost or not, it remains a mystery as to what was captured. Now the following video was submitted to me by someone who has no idea where the video came from. Its original source is unknown, but despite its mysterious origins, the clip is sufficiently creepy. Nah, I still gotta see the new Exorcist movie as a matter of fact. On its own. The video seems to have come from a CCTV camera that was placed in front of a driveway. I gotta watch it on stream and just dang on it. It's already been a month. This freaking is not in theaters no more. Everything appears to be normal until you notice the two strangers that are standing outside the owner's home. They come into view as the owner beams them with the car headlights, presumably as an attempt to scare them off. This, however, doesn't work. They're still there while eerily standing still. It is at this point though. We've seen this clip how many times? Oh, where things get really creepy. Watch. Exactly. Fit the lemon. 
Heck, a hundred of them. In utter disbelief, the property owner sees the two strangers disappear without a trace. Clearly, there had been two individuals standing outside, but somehow, they vanish as soon as the lights are flashed again. Now how exactly this happened is something viewers can't seem to explain, and with little info on this clip, the video becomes even more mysterious. If two strangers were seen on camera, then how is it possible that they suddenly disappeared? In the following video, a man is woken up after hearing strange noises inside his apartment. The man lives alone, so he finds it alarming to hear what sounds like an intruder inside his home. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. You can hear it. Strangely, the sound of footsteps can be heard coming from above as though someone is in the attic. Now the man in this video is known as Nick Long, and it wasn't until the next morning that he decided to leave from the safety of his room to investigate the attic space. He treads carefully as to avoid any physical confrontations. As Nick looks around and checks every corner, he sees that no one is there. Not even traces of a person, such as footprints, can be found anywhere. This was definitely strange. But Nick doesn't really think much of it, since plenty of other strange things have happened before inside his apartment. Though, it would be a few nights later when the strangest encounter happens. Nick is once again woken up by strange noises from his attic. Only this time, he decides to check it out as it happens. Needless to say, What's captured here is pretty spooky. Watch. Yes, I've been hearing weird noises and shit. Ariel, happy birthday. Door. It's been like opening and closing. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> The door to the attic somehow opens on its own as soon as Nick approaches it. Feeling spooked, Nick is completely unsettled by this incident. It's now apparent that something strange is going on. But as if things couldn't get any more creepy, the following night, Nick is recording his dog when he captures this. Even the dog tripping. <laughs> Yo. Nick's dog immediately goes on high alert. His dog is sensing something that doesn't appear to be there. It's as though he senses something dangerous. With all that's happened before, Nick believes that something isn't right with this apartment. He believes it might be haunted and thinks that the attic might have something to do with this. Whether ghost or not, he's deeply unsettled by these incidents. Despite living somewhere else now, he can't seem to forget the strange events that have happened there. So then, just what exactly was going on inside Nick's apartment? Like most videos, this one remains a mystery. This next video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment complex. 
Not much is known about this video, except that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase. Below the stairs is what appears to be a small room. The little girl can be seen staring at something inside the room, but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Something was actually captured inside this room. Take a look. Something is in there. Look at that movement. The heck was that? What is that? That's crazy. I can't make out what it is. It now becomes clear as to why the little girl seemed hesitant to go inside. A disembodied hand can be seen beckoning to the girl. It almost seems to come out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. Even the cat who later joins the girl seems unsure about going inside. Whatever this might have been was concerning enough to make them reluctant about entering the space. This mysterious footage, even the black cat was like, nope, not me. Like most videos has yet to be solved. But until it does look like a massive hand that just says, come here, girl. And she's like, nah, I'm gonna close the door. Forget you. Then you be the judge on what was captured inside this room. On August 23rd of 2023, George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. As minutes pass, it appears that nothing strange is happening in this footage. But fast forward to just a few more seconds and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. Prior to this incident, George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Before having to document any of these occurrences, they would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering coming from somewhere inside the house. But creepiest of all is when the couple would see household items move on their own. Over time, the activity has become so intense that the couple has asked for help from those who specialize in the paranormal. It was recommended that they set up cameras around their home to capture evidence of the so-called paranormal activity. So the couple act accordingly. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George and his wife own an old rocking chair, and apparently, this chair is the source behind all the activity. So the couple does exactly that by selling it. And surprisingly, a buyer has taken an interest in purchasing the chair. The couple holds onto the chair until the buyer comes over to pick it up sometime next week. But in the meantime, something very strange is captured on their cameras. No one is home when this is captured. We've seen this before. Likes. We trying to get a thousand likes by the end of the live stream. Hit that like button for your boy. Yeah. We got 9-11 people in here. Clearly, the chair begins to rock back and forth before somehow other objects inside the house move on their own. Although terrified by what was captured, the couple is glad they had caught this. They can now show this video to those who've doubted. I'm with you on that special case. However, this wouldn't be the only footage they'd be showing because as of recent, more activity has been caught. Mo, I agree. Not long after this video, the following incident was captured. Take a look. What next? Oh, don't worry. Y'all getting another video. It's coming up right after this one. Literally, because this... There's going to be another clip after this. <laughs> That's what y'all mean, right? Y'all ready for the next clip from um, Sir Spooks to pop up? Oh, I mean... Wait, hold on. This is number three. We got two in one. That there's your next videos right there. Um, B Sir Spooks. I meant Bizarre Bub. Oh, I guess the table was there before. My bad. I didn't notice it before. Now, moments before an object falls down, the camera pans over to the shelf as though sensing movement in that area. What's weird about this, though, is that it sensed it before the DVD case had fallen on its own. Now, one could say that the camera picked up movement from the TV, but if that were so, then the camera would have already moved earlier, given that there were things moving on the screen way before the camera had moved. It seems like this was a random occurrence, unless it was sensing something else. The couple continued to document these strange occurrences in the hopes that someone could explain what's happening. 
Ultimately, their goal is to stop the activity. But until then, it seems they'll continue to share more footage of this unusual situation. You see, Donna was like, I only seen three of the clips tonight. See? We ain't seen all of the stuff. Some of y'all have, yeah. Some of y'all seen more than I have, so I can't help you on that. I ain't seen all of this. In the following video, a man is alone at home when he realizes that the lights in his basement won't turn on. Feeling a bit scared, he walks down into the cellar with caution. According to him, it's not the darkness that scares him, but the basement itself. From time to time, noises such as footsteps or the sound of someone walking back and forth can be heard coming from inside. This often happens when no one else is at home. Now the man had had this experience previously, but it was at his job. He works as a grave digger, and oftentimes, after placing a coffin inside a freshly dug grave, he would feel as though someone else was there with him. Although unable to explain this unusual sensation, it would be the following incident that leaves him extremely baffled. The man checks the basement to see why the lights aren't turning on, but he checks carefully because, as he states, he just heard the sound of footsteps walking about as though someone is down there. Be sure to pay close attention Still as what was captured Still courage. Shout out to you. Thank you for the I don't big baby. wasn't noticed until looking closely. This is what was caught. At the moment, in the basement, I swear I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is. All right, we have seen this clip, you know. I, I had a feeling we have. I thought we didn't, but we have. I remember it. But it's kind of creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the, uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure what that noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now, so... <sighs> We'll see, I guess. Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, if you look closely as the man pans the camera to the bathroom, you can see what appears to be a strange shadow-like figure standing completely still inside a bathtub. Miss Merritt said her baby just kicked her in her belly and startled her. <laughs> now that's crazy. I ain't, uh, that's creepy. It doesn't appear to be moving at all. Not while watching Paranormal. As if who, or whatever this was, had been entirely stiff. Even creepier is that when the man returns to the bathroom, the figure is no longer there. Given its strange appearance and sudden disappearance, the man thinks that something supernatural was captured. But as always, I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusions. Could it be that someone had broken in and quickly hid away from the man? Or might this be something completely different? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, Amber Lee, welcome to the family. Videos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. This next video was taken inside an old restaurant that is currently being renovated. The person recording this doesn't say where exactly this footage was taken, and for good reason. Aside from privacy, this place isn't safe to be in. It's not just the construction that makes it unsafe, but rather something else. For just an idea of why that is, the owners of the restaurant are deeply afraid of the strange things that have happened here. Now the person recording this is someone who I featured in a previous video. They too have been experiencing strange happenings and believe that it won't stop unless they move out from home. Given their experience with this unusual phenomenon, they were invited to see this restaurant before it's completely demolished. Although expecting to see something unusual, nothing happens. That is, until much later when they head over to the back of the restaurant. I remember this What clip. happens then is terrifying to say the least. Yeah, this, we, we have seen like 90% of this video already before. It's what they caught. Oh, it's cold right here. Yeah, I'm waiting for Selena Spooky Poo to drop some new 
sleepwalking videos as well. We've reacted to just about all the ones that she has. Check them out on my channel. They're they're so good. Hello. I'm not going out there. I wouldn't either. Definitely not going back there. Oh wow, it, it is really cold right here. What was that? Summer's around the corner. It's right there, it's peeking through. Hit that corner, it will see you. Uh oh. I don't think it's happy we're here. Oh, holy, dude, there's... Initially, a strange shadow can be seen peeking from a corner. The man, whose name is Wynn, doesn't notice it until much later, after feeling a sudden drop in temperature. The room suddenly becomes cold when out of nowhere, the small figure is seen by Wynn. Upon seeing this, he quickly hides away as if frightened by whatever this was. But as if things couldn't get any creepier, the mysterious shadow disappears. Feeling extremely unsettled, Wynn walks out as fast as possible and ends the video there. If the reason for demolishing the restaurant is to get rid of whatever this was, then maybe it's best to completely relocate from this place. But until further info is given to clarify this incident, it seems that we won't know for sure as to who, or even what, was inside this restaurant. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads in the future. That being said, until next time, peace. We did it. We made it through it. Now we're about to go to the next one. You. Yeah. What's next? That was V2. Now it's time for V3. Scary Comp Bizarre Bug. This one, I think, is going to be full of stuff we haven't seen, hopefully. All right. I'm only assuming. Let's go. Hit that like button for your boy. Y'all, we've been in here going on two hours, 20 minutes. It'll be two hours. On September 18th of 2023, a couple of friends are meeting up at a friend's house to practice for a dance recital. They'll be performing in a few days, so they want to make sure their dance is perfectly choreographed. Throughout the night, the friends record themselves dancing solo before eventually filming their collective dance. But fast forward to only a couple hours later, and something very strange happens. According to the group, they were playing a game inside a room when something pretty creepy happened. This is what was caught. Oh, wait, middle, down. Okay, okay. Oh, I'll do the, yeah. I feel like I'm in a 90s dance. Let's do it. You can, I feel like they need to learn how to dance. Only move when the lights are off. You can't move when the lights are on. You have five moves to get to me. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Mm. All right. <laughs> you have five moves to get to me. Five moves to get to you. Okay. That's one. <laughs> Two. Three. She's there. She's there. And four. She's there. Come on. She's there. Oh, what the heck was that? Turn the light on. Turn the light on, folks. the heck was that? Something fell, right? Yeah, it was sitting right here. And it just fell off? Okay. It fell? That's how that is. It blew off. There's no way it was here. No, there's no way that fell. It was sitting right here. Did you touch that? No, she didn't touch it. Now the little chandelier thing in his movie. What? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. They need to get out. Asked if playing this game wasn't already creepy enough. This happens. Now, right before the video ends, a loud thump is heard on camera. Hearing this sound was enough to silence the girls, as they already knew what it was. It was the same crystal cube that had dropped earlier. This was strange, considering that it was placed securely on the shelf and has never fallen until now. Casey, who was in this video, further adds that it seems to have flown off the shelf, given how far it landed on the floor. It's as though someone or something had flung it. But even stranger are the events that followed afterward. A ceiling lamp begins to move on its own, and a shelf door pops open out of nowhere. Understandably, the girls ran away in sheer panic. Now they have yet to post more videos explaining the events of that night. But until then, it seems that this incident will have no conclusive answer on what exactly was captured in this video. In the following video, a mother and her two children are standing outside their house after seeing something very alarming. They had just come back from walking outside when something on the second floor window catches their attention. The family couldn't help but record this on the off chance that no one would believe them. Using a flashlight they had brought along to their nightly walk, the family shines the window and sees this. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing some, all right, put your flashlight up. <gasps> oh, I remember this clip. See if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh. It appears that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a figure behind the shades. The space appears to be empty, as if no one is there. Now, the children are definitely spooked by this incident, but not so much the mother, given her calm demeanor in the video. It could be that this odd occurrence has happened before, and thus explaining why she doesn't seem that faced. But whether or not that's so, what happens next further demonstrates this incident as being truly odd. Have a look. All right, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight up. Hey. All right, yeah, let's go inside, let's go inside, let's go inside. Here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. Here's my daughter's room. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, but just to show you, here's the closet. I just want to show you there's nobody behind. Nobody in the closet. Here's the window right over here. Nobody. Not a single person up here. The mother checks the room and shows that no one's there. Even before entering the space, she appears to be certain that no one is up there, as if she's already experienced this before. It goes without saying, but viewers find this to be pretty strange. If no one had been inside the room, then how were the blinds opening up? And why is it that each time the window is shined, they immediately close back up? That's crazy. With no further context or updates on this odd occurrence, it seems that we may never know what exactly was going on in this video. That's crazy. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured in this footage. In the following video, a mother is recording her daughter because of something very concerning that she just said. According to the daughter, someone or something is in the closet moving inside. She was able to capture a glimpse of this movement from the gap beneath the closet door, but couldn't make out who or what was in there. This was extremely concerning to the mother, as for a while, they've been dealing with strange occurrences at home. They believe that a squatter is hiding in their house. Now, they had thought this for the longest time, until something pretty creepy happened recently. Although Cheryl, the mother, doesn't exactly say what happened, she now knows that something else is going on in the house. 
One day, Cheryl is sewing in her room when her daughter, who's playing with her toys right behind her, tells her that something had moved in the closet. She immediately grabs her phone and begins to record. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Um, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. <laughs> Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? There's something under the door. Under the closet door? What? Woo! Woo! Don't do me! Don't do me! I ain't think there's gonna be nothing in there. She should have warned us there was a freaking mannequin standing in there, crazy lady. Shoo. It's okay. What? It's not okay. Oh, it's moving. Why is it moving? Nope. Look at that. I'm scared. Come on. I'm the scared. The creepy looking mannequin begins to sway on its own before plummeting to the ground. Cheryl and her daughter are left shaken up as neither of them were near the doll when it moved. They were too far to have done anything. Feeling totally baffled, they promptly rush out of the room in a panic frenzy. Now it's worth noting that the reason Cheryl has mannequins in her bedroom is because she now works as a seamstress from home. The mannequins are there to display the dresses that she sews. But viewers believe that the figures are either cursed or haunted. Now Cheryl doesn't really think so, considering that strange things have been happening before she bought the mannequins. Only a few months ago, Cheryl's daughter is playing in her mother's room when this is captured. Nope, 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 mm-mm. Not me. Cheryl's daughter walks over to the closet as though she heard a noise come from inside. She seemingly looks around to see what caused the noise, but finds nothing. Feeling a bit spooked, she walks out of her mother's room when all of a sudden, this happens. So then, just what exactly was caught on camera? Although Cheryl has yet to say what she thinks, many believe that something paranormal had occurred. But as with most videos, you be the judge on what was captured here. Was something supernatural caught on camera? Or was something else caught instead? At approximately one in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that not many drivers take for a certain reason. It is said that driving down this road is dangerous, as many accidents have occurred here before, and tragically, some of those accidents were fatal. Because of this, some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently, but most drivers, like the one in this video, can find an alternate route to their destination. They have no choice but to take this one. On August 18 of 2023, Gaston Rodriguez and his co-driver were taking this route when something pretty creepy happened. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening. 
when out of nowhere, they capture this. Down the road, there appears to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing from sight. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording, but it was after watching this clip that they That's were left crazy. totally spooked. Who, or whatever this is, Disappear. just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Wow. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here, some believe that this might have been the spirit of a deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly did this mysterious figure disappear from sight? That's what I'm saying. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. In this next video, a man named Bobby is watching a scary movie when a sudden noise is heard from inside his home. As it turns out, the noise had come from the cabinet behind Bobby. Feeling a bit spooked, he continues to record the case as he has a hunch that something is about to happen. This cabinet, as Bobby states, is haunted. Now this wouldn't be the first time that something like this has occurred. In previous videos, which I featured before, Bobby has documented things that he considers to be paranormal in nature. From his daughter's toys turning on by themselves, to bedroom doors seemingly opening on their own, something about this place just doesn't seem right. Nah, get out of here, man. No, get them dolls out of there and you'll be all right. <sighs> it appears that something highly unusual is taking place in Bobby's apartment. But Y'all, after this video, I'm gonna go get my matcha drink, man. Forgot I bought one earlier today. Just when things seem to be... Why? When I got matcha powder? Don't know. Settling down, the following takes place. While being home alone and watching a scary movie, this happens. Happy belated birthday, Diana. This is for him record a stop. And our neighbors and all that move, so I know it's not them. I hear footsteps again. Please leave me alone. Hey, y'all, we're about 300 likes from hitting our goal. Hit that like button for you, boy. We're trying to get a 1,000 by the end of this live stream. And we're on a roll to a 1,000 live viewers. Only need 40 more. Hit that like button. We'll get more people in here. Hold on. Let me, let me make a little video. Hey, Instagram. We live right now if you want to come join us. We, we live on the tube right now. Look at that. Look at that. We live. Three hour long live stream. Come hang out. Yo. <laughs> Yo. They had the 5X fast forward because this man just standing here recording a chair for the longest after they did that little spin. That thing just slid out too. Yo.
here you go again. They had the 6X fast forward. This man just standing here recording for the longest. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, he sound like he high every time something happens. Fast forward. Come on now. I know y'all gonna do it. You do it again? Yeah, in 20 minutes. Will you fast forward 10x? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm good on that, man. What's wrong with this dude? That thing just tried to pull open again. While doing his best to remain calm, Bobby captures footage of the cabinet doing something on its own. The doors on the cabinet begin to rattle wait, wait, wait. as if someone was trying to pry them open. And shortly after, the sound of the latch being released from the Sarah cabinet Beth, door. 30 month channel member, big baby, appreciate the support. Is heard. To Bobby, it seems that something supernatural is happening with the cabinet, or at least the space it's in, as other nearby objects started moving on their own. To this day, Bobby continues to experience strange happenings at home. And just like previous occurrences, this one has left him beyond spooked. Two hours later, Jesse snagged the, the death city of Kruger membership Storm, South Africa. A mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. It isn't known if the house in this video has been sold yet, but considering what happens in this clip, it may just be that no one will be buying this house anytime soon. Apparently, something very freaky was caught on camera. Take a look. Pie Pie gifted the channel member ship and DC snatched it up with a quick. I ain't never seen this clip before, y'all. I likes it. I likes it. New content, baby. Oh, never mind. I lied. I have seen it before. Yo, I remember as soon as I saw that little thing walk across. I was like, yep, seen it. Remember that now. I don't remember nothing else. I don't remember none of this. After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. But I remember that. They don't, I don't know how he didn't see that. I would have saw that. Recall ever seeing anyone else inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Although it's unknown what the agent thinks, viewers believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, Let's get back to the video. On March 20th of 2023, a very peculiar video was uploaded by a grandmother who was looking over at the footage captured by her doorbell camera. The recording was taken late at night when no one at home had been awake. So according to the grandma, whatever was caught on camera couldn't have been her nor her spouse who resides with her. Now the house they live in isn't thought to be haunted as nothing strange or unexplainable has occurred there before. If anything unusual was happening, they would forbid their grandchildren from coming over. But despite having doubts that strange things would ever happen, they captured this. It's around 3.20 in the morning when their doorbell camera records something pretty creepy. Take a look. Yo, hold on. I'm tripping, man. That little baby was so excited. Did y'all see that baby? You're like, me. Go. <laughs> so excited. But despite having doubts that... 
Good luck. Yo, what the freak? What the heck was that? The heck was that? What the heck is this? It oh. appears that a small white figure dashes out the front door before disappearing into the dark. And then you see somebody, it looked like somebody taking trash out though. They're walking kind of like this. But then, moments later, something else appears on camera. An odd looking silhouette can be seen just a few feet away, moving in a strange manner, as if it was floating above ground. Naturally, its uncanny movement has left the grandparents beyond spooked, but they were more concerned about seeing their front door open as if someone or something was in their place. Although they can't seem to explain the events of that night, they've taken safety measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their house. Yet still, the question remains, who or what had been inside their home? And just what in the world was this? Why is somebody taking the trash out at the wrong hours of the night? In this last video, oh. two friends are playing with a doll. Heck no. Nah. Y'all remember this? We've seen this before, not 50, 11 times. This would be the second time we've seen this. That according to them, does something pretty strange. The video starts off with both friends playing with a doll, hoping it would do the thing that it usually does. However, while recording the figurine, they notice that its eyes are a different color. For some reason, its blue eyes, initially seen at the start of the clip, are now completely black. They continue to record the doll when this is captured. Her eyes are black on here. Why are she they turned black? this way? I've seen that. Yeah. Pop out and gift another five yeah. channel memberships. Make sure y'all thank him. Make sure y'all thank him. They're black. Her eyes are like real light blue. And she completely stopped moving. Some eyes changed color on the doll. I don't yeah. even want to look. Hey, Marissa. Look. Nope. That fan is still blowing and she stopped. Nope, not looking. See? Nope. Mm. See? I don't yeah. see it. Mm, it's so creepy. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Those are creepy. She won't stand anywhere else on the table. No, I've tried it three or four places up here. She That's right. She won't. She won't stand nowhere else on the table. She moves. Watch. Oh, oh, I, did not do, I did not do that. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Somehow, the doll turns by itself after being moved around. According to them, it seemingly doesn't like being placed in a certain spot. It's for this reason that it turns away on its own. Now the friends have tried explaining this, but it seems that nothing plausible comes to mind. They have no clue as to how the doll moved on its own. Unfortunately, with no further info on this video, it seems that this incident will remain a mystery. But aside from this encounter, there's no denying that the doll's appearance is pretty creepy. Paranormal or not, this doll has to be the stuff of nightmares. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads in the future. That being said, until next time, Pete. I'm gonna go get my matcha drink. I'll be white black. probably gonna keep me up all night. Heidi done came through and gifted 20. I counted 20 channel memberships. Look, y'all better snag them. Y'all better snag them. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? 
all the new channel members up in here. Make sure y'all thank her. Y'all better thank her. Y'all don't deserve it. I don't see the thank yous to um to Popeye. Where the thank yous at? On, on to, September. On to the next video. Y'all. We gotta go to the GOAT. We gotta go to the GOAT. The baby GOAT. The number two GOAT. We need to see it in the chat, y'all. We need to see it in the chat. Callan, and this is slapped ham. We need to see the slap in the ham in the chat, big baby. For the man, the myth, the legend himself. Slap him. Um, you're about to see some of the most mysterious video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content. Just like this. So, creature update. Casey Disturbed, a Michigan local known by the username Foul Mitten Outdoors on TikTok, has intrigued and spooked viewers with an unusual narrative. He believes he struck an amicable relationship with the elusive creature, Bigfoot. For over two years, Disturbed has been sharing peculiar videos from his property located in the wooded Upper Peninsula area of Michigan, where he alleges he's exchanged gifts with the mysterious beast. For decades, tales of Bigfoot sightings have largely been restricted to the Pacific Northwest of the US. However, Disturbed's narrative is distinct. Location he's fondly dubbed the Gifting Rock. Just about to the Gifting Rock. See if there's anything there. All right, well, that's interesting. At this particular spot, Disturbed leaves offerings like bagels, only to find rustic handicrafts presumably left by Bigfoot as tokens of appreciation. Uh, looks like got a piece of wood, moss, something. Teeth. The heck are those? Teeth. Some of Disturbed's videos showcase what seem to be the glowing eyes of the alleged Sasquatch. It's staring at me. They followed me home from the gifting rock. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now. They silently watch him from a concealed position among the trees. But uh, they followed me home and it is absolutely staring at me right now. The mere sight of these luminous eyes has led to a surge in views on his TikTok, with some videos gathering millions of views. The term cryptid refers to animals or creatures whose existence has been proposed based on anecdotal evidence like Bigfoot, but haven't been scientifically proven. While some viewers theorise that Disturbed might have stumbled upon an undiscovered cryptid, scepticism is rife. Critics have pointed out the lack of movement in the creature's eyes, leading some to speculate that Disturbed might be using reflective stickers, or perhaps he's the victim of an elaborate prank by someone who is. However, the constant video updates from Disturbed's property are evidence enough for his growing legion of followers. In this clip, we see something moving in the reversing camera of Disturbed's truck. I will, we'll be all right. This is ridiculous. Right. It's pitch black oh. at night for sake. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're not going to get stuck. Let's get the hell out of here. If you brighten it up and slow it down, you can see a large entity moving from left to right. <laughs> If it's your first time live with us, put FTL in the chat for first time live. Y'all, we need a hundred, a hundred and seventy nine more likes and we will hit our goal for the night. That's beautiful. This sighting suggests that something more than just cryptids might be roaming these woods. In another clip, Disturbed responds to a distressed call from a neighbor. The woman up the road calls Disturbed concerned that her husband hasn't come home for dinner after working in his barn all day. The farmer's wife down the road. Hey, Shantae, did you did you see what the new Karen t-shirt is gonna look like? Oh, it's gonna be fire. If you go to the beginning of the live stream, I, I, I showed y'all a little glimpse of what the new Karen t-shirt is gonna look like. 
Donald called and said that he'd been working out in the barn today and hadn't showed back up for dinner. He enters the property looking for his neighbor. Jerry? Jerry? The building is powerless and near pitch black. He calls out but receives no response. Jerry! You're messing around, I swear to God, Jerry. Then, towards the end of the investigation, something chilling happens. Watch. Jerry? I hear you back there, Jerry. Better say something, dude, or I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> This! Watching that again, you can make out the faint outline of a figure moving inside the dark room. Back there, Jerry. Better say something, dude, or I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> It's clearly not his lost neighbour. So what is it? In a more recent update, Disturbed is awoken by a noise coming from his roof. Something appears to be up there. Oh, damn. I remember this clip. Holy sh**. All right. So, bitch is one of the other side that's, of the That's crazy. I didn't even realize all of this is the same guy. Oh. We just seen several of his videos before. I didn't know it was all the same dude. He circles the house and spots what looks like animal bones up on the roof. Where'd it go? That's some weird looking bones. That? Like a big fish. Although the majority of Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the US West Coast, a handful of claims come from the state of Michigan. Whether Disturbed's interactions are genuine or a mere reflection of folklore, his videos undoubtedly stoke curiosity and debate among his massive TikTok audience. I see y'all. I see y'all. FTL. A bunch of new people in here watching, hanging out with us for the first time during the live stream. First time live, baby. First time live. FTL. The question that remains is, could Casey Disturbed truly be interacting with Bigfoot? Or is it just another tale in the long saga of cryptid lore? But, uh, they're following you home and it is absolutely stick. Shonda, there should be a link on all of my videos that will let you see in the description how to become a channel member. Turn at me right now. This next curious video was posted to our Facebook community page by Ahmed Shah. It's not known exactly where this was filmed, but it was captured by a motorcycle rider during an afternoon ride. At first, everything seems perfectly normal until this happens. Oh, what the heck? He stops and then the bike just comes at him. Where's the rider? Watching that again, the rider's friend disappears from view. What the heck? Moments later, his bike reappears, but with no rider in sight. Yo! saved the bike from hitting his bike what the what the peculiar incident has given rise to a slew of bizarre theories the most prominent of which suggests the rider was abducted by aliens leaving his bike to wheel on without him others think it could be a glitch in the system or that the rider no clipped out of reality perhaps into the infamous back rooms as always though i'll throw this one out to you the viewers for final judgment what do you think's going on here? What Let me know your fuck? thoughts down below. I don't know what to make of this one, y'all. Several months ago, we reported on a household that had transformed from an ordinary residence into the stage for a series of eerie happenings. Uh-oh, y'all, y'all, look. We already know this house. 
As shared by the homeowners on their TikTok account, Magical Poltergeist, the occurrences were not only shattering their tranquility, but also posing the harrowing question. Is there a sinister entity lurking in their home? Hey, King Cole, yeah, Initially, I'm, I gotta go to the um, post office in the, in the AM and uh, retrieve my birthday gifts that you guys have sent me. I was just letting them all pile up, but I'm gonna go first thing in the AM. As a matter of fact, let me make a note of that. The signs were subtle, changes to the couple's mood, their behavior would inexplicably shift, leading to abrupt and unwarranted disagreements, sparking questions about unseen external influences. Today, new alarming footage from within the home brings more weight to the haunting hypothesis. Their wise home security camera has recorded some truly chilling scenes. While the homeowners lay asleep, unaware of the night's events, their rocking chair is captured swaying back and forth. This ain't the same. Oh, it is the More same rocking chair. alarmingly, a planchette is seen shifting over a Ouija board. Oh, yeah, we done seen this clip before. A planchette, that's what you call the little things on the Ouija board. Got it. I remember we talked about that last time. But it doesn't stop there. In a subsequent video, the atmosphere takes a darker turn. The wife, visibly distressed, calls her husband over the phone, recounting a foul smell permeating throughout their home. Stanky. Dude, the house smells like literally like rotten eggs. Like, it literally smells like you forgot to take the trash out or something. Like, I don't know what the f is going on with this shit. The house smells disgusting. Before he can offer any form of solace, this happens. Did you take the trash out? What the f baby? The lights are flickering now, dude. Watching that again, the lights in their house start to flicker erratically. Then a crucifix mounted on the wall slowly rotates, positioning itself upside down. Whether this is a cunning hoax or a genuine haunting remains uncertain, but the undeniable truth is the content on Magical Poltergeist's account has left many viewers restless. For now, we wait for further updates, hoping for clarity or perhaps even a resolution for the distressed family. Try hard. <laughs> Just trying to ignore anything that we hear. Cheryl, a single mother and talented seamstress known as Cheryl Sweetie 2 on TikTok, initially began her social media journey sharing updates and snippets of daily life. Okay. Hey guys, so I've been trying to read a book a month. Right now I'm reading 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. It's also a show on Netflix, which I also highly recommend. I was just about to say, is that the same 13 Reasons Why as like the show that's on Netflix? I also recommend that show. It's a great show sucks it, it's one of those shows where it seemed like the cast just grew old quick the seasons just came and went so fast it was only like three seasons i was like oh i need more but um yeah we just saw this clip but recently the wholesome content took a dramatic and eerie twist that's left viewers both intrigued and concerned in one of her videos cheryl's daughter appears visibly disturbed Strange. The guy, welcome to the live stream. We're going to let this clip play out for those of you who are just getting here that didn't see it. ...that she had witnessed something peculiar happening underneath the closet door. There's something under the door. Under the closet door. Cheryl, perhaps to reassure her daughter, promptly investigates by opening the door. Watch what happens. Scared you. Out of nowhere, the mannequin falls over. Y'all, we need about 130 more likes to hit our goal of a thousand likes for the night. Come on, we got this. I'm scared. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Things only grow more up. I got, I got something that should uh, encourage y'all to hit that like button. We're going to do another slap ham video after this, big baby. Minus with the upload of some home security footage. The video captures the daughter staring into the same closet for an eerie amount of time. After she leaves the room, this happens.
This ghostly act seems to cement the family's fears, prompting them to sleep in another room. Cheryl, in a follow-up video, shares their current living situation. She reveals the trauma of a chilling incident that occurred when she was home all alone. She recounts hearing footsteps advancing towards the kitchen. Mistaking it for her daughter returning home from a friend's place, she didn't think too much of it. However, looking around, the house was empty. Suddenly, a cabinet door slammed shut. Needless to say, the duo spent that night away from home, seeking refuge at a friend's place. While many online are quick to label the home as haunted, what stands out is the palpable distress in both Cheryl and her daughter. So yeah, we've just been trying to deal with it the best way we can. You know, it's just a hard time right now. So we're doing the best we can with the situation, trying not to pay attention to it. And just, you know, we've been told that if we just ignore it, it'll go away. So that's what we're trying to do. This isn't just about a ghost story. It's about a family's experience and their attempts to cope. In a recent update, Cheryl informs her followers of the decision to leave their home temporarily. So I wanted to give you a quick update. We are finally getting out of this house. My friend has so graciously offered to let us stay in her house for a few months while she's traveling. Good. So we're gonna be living in her house for a little bit. She says they're going to live at a friend's place. Hey, you're doing your friend a favor because she's traveling, she need a house sitter. Understandably, Cheryl anticipates a short hiatus on TikTok as they navigate this tumultuous chapter. So is this home truly haunted? The palpable fear and reactions of both mother and daughter weave a mysterious narrative that only time will tell. Is that what scared you? Oh, glad they got out of there. Glad they got out of there. Come on, come on. Woo! This next strange series of images was sent to us by one of our viewers, Schwell. The photos show their son sliding down an inflatable slide at a local nursery. However, over the series of images, a strange anomaly seems to appear. In this image, you can see the poster's son on the slide. Just above him, you can see a strange face reflecting on the canopy above. Now in this photo, taken just a split second later after the son got off the slide, you can see that there's no reflection at all. There's just nothing there. If you zoom in on the first image, it almost looks like Jason from Friday the 13th. I was thinking Michael Myers, but okay. Given the angle of the canopy, it doesn't seem likely that the surface would be reflecting someone in the crowd, as it appears to be angled slightly upwards. So is this just a bit of cheeky Photoshop fun, or is there more to this image? Love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Maybe the next person had on a mask? Before we take a look at an eerie sighting captured in the United States, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Cut that way you'll effect. be in the loop every time we drop new channel member in the building. Our scary and creepy videos. Recently, an ex-user going by the handle UBF2FV1CVQXRJQ0 posted a perplexing video that has since captivated the attention of many. The footage, said to be captured somewhere within the United States, showcases dozens of white, unidentified flying orbs drifting Aliens. across the sky. Aliens! Or a bunch of drones. Those could be a bunch of drones. Their movements are erratic and unpredictable. Camera holder zooms in and out, emphasizing the peculiarity of this aerial phenomena. The lights, though, are all they the all white? About the true name, they could be lights or all white drones. The nature of these orbs rages on. Some speculate that they might simply be a flock of birds. Those ain't birds. Those ain't birds. Perhaps illuminated by a particular light or seen at an angle that distorts their appearance, nah. causing them to not focus properly on camera. 
Nah. Yet many are adamant that these aren't birds at all. Yeah. They argue that the erratic movement and the sheer number of orbs seem to suggest otherwise. To them, this might well be an instance of extraterrestrial technology. Even. A theory that, while exciting to some, requires more evidence and investigation to be confirmed. The only person that can really say whether or not these are extraterrestrial in nature or drones is the person that's recording. Because whoever's recording knows exactly what it is or what it isn't. You know what I mean by that? They know if it's drones, but they also know if it isn't drones. Hey, Lynn. We are launching a brand new second channel. Y'all, 98, 98 likes is all we need to hit our goal for this evening of a thousand likes. We're so close. We're so close. Hit that like button for your boy self. Now, as that little montage said, it's going to be true crime. It's going to be paranormal mysteries. It's going to be some unsolved crimes as well. So subscribe to the new channel. Turn on channel notification. Y'all, it's time for the next slap ham hey, video. You know what I'm this is... Let's see another slap in the ham in the chat for slap ham. This is, this shocking footage has a surprise twist. Ooh, sounds good. Slap ham, you're about to see some of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. You can see the top of that mountain, it's, it's humongous. In January 2019, the tranquil foothills of northeast Provo, Utah, became the centre of intrigue and speculation. A curious video surfaced showing what many believe to be the elusive Sasquatch, popularly known as Bigfoot. Bigfoot! Captured on January 2nd, the video shows an imposing figure moving up the mountainside. That gotta be a Bigfoot, cause God, that's big. Hey, seriously, look how big it is. Cute. He's just chilling. Cute. For local hunter Austin Craig and his companions, this wasn't just another mountain dweller. The sheer size and movement of the creature led them to believe this wasn't human. That man look like he about 15 feet tall. I don't think it is a human. I think it's a Bigfoot. It's a Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Because look, he's on the mountain, but look how huge he is. It's Bigfoot. To them, this wasn't just any creature. It was something exceptional. Humongous. It's that black thing right over that second peak of that house. Just standing there, but he's huge. Austin later shared his insights with News Flare, admitting that while many might find the existence of Bigfoot in today's age improbable, it's far from impossible. With this mindset, he believes such sightings warrant deeper exploration. In their quest for answers, the group decided to venture up the mountain, hoping to find any traces or signs of the mysterious creature. You should go to the exact location of where that thing was, have somebody go to where you were, where you were filming it, and film you being there to see what your size ratio would be to that creature. Well, whatever it was that was climbing up here, we've concluded that it was a very nimble giant because it's not easy to climb this very steep, snowy mountain. It's very steep up here. Yeah, it's really steep. Lots of snow. Not a lot of firm footholds or handholds. No. But they just seem to be like waltzing through. Yeah. The video we saw is somebody was just traipsing on up. What they encountered were subtle disturbances in the snow and certain areas suggesting something might have been dragged. So I'm seeing something that is not deer tracks anymore. We're trying to determine what it what, what it is. Almost looks like somebody was dragging something up or down the mountain. Although these findings were inconclusive, they added another layer to the strange incident. Yeah, all over. And there's a there's a spot where it looks like something was being dragged along. I think somebody was sliding down with their butt at one point. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. The sighting has left more questions than answers. Is the Utah mountainside home to the legendary Bigfoot? Or is it just another case of mistaken identity? I don't think it is a human. I think it's a Sasquatch. Cause look, he's on the mountain, 
way far back on the mountain. But look how huge he is. I don't like a black bear. That thing is walking on his two legs. On October 14, 2023, Facebook user Val St. Louis captured a moment that sent shivers down the spines of many. At exactly 10.54, her home security camera documented an ordinary scene turned extraordinary, reigniting debates about the paranormal. First, we see Val relaxing on the couch. However, things start to turn a little eerie. Watch. Objects begin moving around the house. I noticed the plant flicker at first, yeah. Then whatever that was, or it almost like a curve remote. The palpable tension and fear are evident as Val promptly vacates the room, clearly rattled by the unexplained events. In her post, Val lamented the persistent and escalating disturbances she's faced over the years, hinting that she might soon be compelled to abandon her home. She also reached out to her online community for advice on purging the unsettling energies she believes pervades her space. It seems that Val isn't alone in her perceptions. An old acquaintance, Kira M, chimed in with her own experiences in the same house long before Val moved in. Kira recalled witnessing toys spontaneously activating and described an overwhelming oppressive presence that seemed to hang in the air. Many sympathetic commenters offered potential remedies, suggesting that Val might smudge her home with sage or cedar in an attempt to cleanse and neutralize any lingering malevolent energies. The central question remains, however, is Val's video genuine evidence of a haunted home, or can these unsettling events be rationally explained? Only time will tell. In an unexpected twist, a KFC outlet in Mexico has become the focal point of intense online speculation after a mystifying event was captured on its CCTV system. The footage, which has sent shivers down the spines of viewers worldwide, was brought to the limelight by TikTok user Alo Duscuro by Joan. The video begins ordinarily enough, featuring an employee cleaning the restaurant after hours. However, the scene swiftly takes a chilling turn. In the span of mere moments, the employee is abruptly yanked to the ground and then dragged across the floor, seemingly pulled by an invisible entity. What? Not at KFC. But the eerie video isn't the sole source of the store's newfound notoriety. Both staff members and customers have divulged their own unsettling experiences at this particular KFC branch. Numerous accounts describe an unshakable feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Some have even reported an intangible touch, resembling a hand grazing their shoulders. Given the array of peculiar incidents and testimonies, the inevitable question looms. Is this Mexican KFC outlet a hotspot for the supernatural? Or perhaps the Colonel is taking revenge for someone leaking his secret recipe for his 11 herbs and spices. A recent photo shared by Reddit user CherryApple89 has caused a stir in the online community, leaving many puzzled and a little bit unnerved. The photo, taken during a glamping trip in the UK, was meant to capture a serene moment among friends around a campfire. However, it seems the group had an unexpected and transparent guest. The picture depicts the group enjoying their evening, when, at the centre, there appears to be a translucent humanoid figure. This ghostly presence, notably cloaked in a hood, is indistinct and lacks any solid details, making it all the more eerie. 
What makes the image even more perplexing is the OP's assertion that their stepmother, the photographer, was confident she knew everyone present at the gathering. The group was exclusive, with only a small circle of friends having booked the glamping facilities for their trip. The mysterious hooded figure then was not part of their invite list. So then, what's been caught on camera here? Could it really be a ghost? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Just how our man was able to get this thing to glow on its own. Just goes to show you that this could have easily been placed there as well. If it wasn't indeed somebody else that was there that just so happened to be walking by and the motion blur caused them to blur. A seemingly ordinary day in a shop in Isabella Province, Philippines, took an unexpected turn when an inanimate object appeared to come to life. Shopkeeper Marie Grace Tome Ramos was simply going about her duties, sweeping the store's floor, when something strange happened. Watch. That's that handmade broom right there, boy. The unexpected movement, caught on CCTV footage dated August 10, has since generated considerable curiosity and debate. Upon hearing the sound of the chair moving, a surprised Ramos turned to her colleague who was preoccupied with slicing vegetables. How is her reaction that delayed? She, di she didn't even acknowledge when the chair actually moved. Like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. That's wild. So the chair moves way back right here was floor when something strange happened right watch right there the chair moves she's still sweeping she doesn't see the chair move she doesn't even know that the chair moved she don't know what could have made that sound as far as she knows he could have made that sound but then she goes right back to sweeping not looking in the direction of where the noise came from sweep 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 Sweep, sweep, and now, and look, sweep, still sweeping. And now she stops to look at the chair as if she knows the chair had made that sound or moved. The chair hasn't moved again since. Man, what the cap? The unexpected movement caught on CCTV footage dated August 10 has since generated considerable curiosity and debate. Me not understand. Upon hearing the sound of the chair moving, a surprised Ramos turned to her colleague, who was preoccupied with slicing vegetables at the time, and asked if he had caused the chair to shift. His equally bewildered response prompted the duo to consult the shop's security footage. The chair indeed seemed to move without any visible external force. Makes no sense. The incident resonates in a country where the supernatural is deeply intertwined with cultural beliefs. Oh the my Phil god, their outfits were beautiful. Philippines, being a predominantly Catholic nation, holds teachings about the existence of souls and an afterlife. In I'm going to go to the Philippines next year. Uh, my uh, good friend of mine is moving out there in January, and I'm going to go visit him. High regard. Furthermore, the nation's rich tapestry of mythological tales adds another layer to the beliefs about spirits and unexplained phenomena. While there are always sceptics quick to dismiss such incidents as mere coincidence or trickery, many Filipinos might see this unexplained event as yet another testament to the mysteries of the unseen world. Could it be a playful spirit, an unsolved mystery, or just a random occurrence? Whatever the explanation, the moving chair in Ramos's shop has surely added a curious chapter to the annals of local law. Dave Keller recently stirred the curiosity of paranormal enthusiasts when he posted an unsettling photo to the Ghosts of London Facebook page. The image, taken at the Saxe Covered Bridge in Gettysburg, appears to show something more than just the historic structure. That's a creepy looking bridge. Keller's caption read, Took this picture of the Saxe Covered Bridge at Gettysburg. There was no one on the bridge when I took this picture. At a casual glance, the photo might seem like a typical nighttime shot of the bridge. 
However, upon closer inspection, and especially after brightening the image, one can discern what looks like legs and feet to the left-hand side. It's as if someone's sitting there, even though Keller insists the bridge was empty. They got big feet. They feet. Gettysburg is... Whoever that is, they feet scratch about halfway across that bridge. No stranger to the tales of the supernatural. The town was the site of one of the bloodiest battles of the American Civil War, with more than 50,000 soldiers killed, wounded, captured or missing over the course of the three-day battle in July 1863. Given the sheer magnitude of loss and emotional trauma associated with the place, many believe that Gettysburg is home to spirits still wandering its fields and landmarks. Over the years, numerous ghostly sightings and strange occurrences have been reported, from phantom regiments marching to disembodied voices and unexplained sounds. Sachs Covered Bridge, specifically, is steeped in its own tales of the eerie. Built in 1854, it played a crucial role during the battle, being used by both Confederate and Union armies. Some say that after the battle, three Confederate deserters were hanged from the bridge's trusses, which might explain some of the alleged paranormal activity. Sightings of apparitions, strange mists, and even the sounds of ghostly footsteps have been reported by visitors. Considering the tragic events and the countless souls who met their fate in Gettysburg, one has to wonder, could Dave Keller's photo be capturing a lingering spirit? A residual energy imprint from the days when the battlefield echoed with the sounds of cannon fire and the cries of fallen soldiers. While skeptics might search for more tangible explanations, believers will see the image as another piece in the vast puzzle of Gettysburg's haunted heritage. Whatever one stands, the haunting allure of Gettysburg's past remains undeniable. Fascinating. I like that bridge though. Before we take a look at some eerie home security footage captured in Surrey, UK, Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Hit it, baby! That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Huh. Huh. Surrey, UK, known for its picturesque landscapes and historical significance, might just have a new ghostly claim to fame. Residents of Flat 7 on Ivy Lane have been grappling with mysterious occurrences for months, pushing the limits of their scepticism. Doors mysteriously swinging open and shut, household objects having a mind of their own, and eerie noises echoing in the silence of the night have all become commonplace in the apartment. But while stories of such ghostly encounters abound in folklore, capturing tangible proof is another matter. The Flat 7 residents learned this the hard way when their attempts to film these supernatural events with their phones led to nothing but blurry images and frustration. Every occurrence seemed to dodge their recording attempts, leaving them with no evidence of their unsettling experiences. But determination can be a driving force. Deciding to up their game, the residents invested in an infrared CCTV home camera system, setting it up in their kitchen, a hotspot for much of the mysterious activity. Take a look at what the camera has caught. To their astonishment, the recorded footage clearly shows a kitchen drawer sliding open with no human intervention. Quick to share their uncanny discovery, they uploaded the video to TikTok under the handle Flat7Ghost. As word spread and curiosity grew, the video skyrocketed in views. Fans, ghost enthusiasts and skeptics alike now regularly tune in, eager for the next episode of Flat 7's Ghostly Saga. So the, the question that links... I believe it. I believe it. Their reaction looked too genuine. ...is in the minds of many is whether this apartment in Surrey is genuinely haunted. Is it the spirit of a past resident, a mere prank, or perhaps some unexplained natural phenomenon? With the CCTV now actively rolling, only time will determine if Flat 7 on Ivy Lane joins the ranks of the UK's most haunted dwellings. Whatever the answer, it's undeniable that the apartment's residents have captured the imagination of many, adding a thrilling chapter to Surrey's rich tapestry of tales.
we are launching a brand new second channel. Y'all, we got one more video. Shout out to Slap Ham for the great content with the new content added in the mix. But we got one more video, y'all. We got about 10 minutes left of this live stream, but to hit the three hour mark, but we're going to go a little bit further, a little bit beyond that with this next video. Y'all, this next video is Nukes Top 5. This is Top 10 Scary Videos That'll Spook You. Let's go. User Cheryl Sweetie 2 on TikTok is a single mother. Oh, heck no. Nah. How many times are we gonna see this clip tonight? Or in Seamstress, who says that she and her dog. But we gotta play it because there's people here that didn't see it. Because people are constantly coming and going throughout the live stream. It might look like we only got 900 viewers in here, but we've had close to 5,000 people come and go. So with those type of numbers, we got to play every clip. Daughter have been experiencing strange and unsettling things inside their home. For months, they've been hearing the sound of someone walking in the hallway outside of their bedrooms. And they found their things mysteriously moved from room to room. Things have gotten so strange that Cheryl even began to worry that they might have a squatter living in their walls. So she installed a security camera so that she can keep an eye on their home. One night, Cheryl's daughter is playing with her toys in her mother's bedroom when something disturbing happens that Cheryl still just can't explain. For real, 511 tonight alone. <laughs> we done seen this clip 511 times. How, how we got a new clip? Hold on, hold on. How we got a new clip that before tonight we never seen before. And already in this live stream we done seen 511 times. This was exciting new content for us. Now it's old. It's 51 years old. Oh. oh my goodness. Door closes. Y'all, we got 30 new channel members this evening. That's a young great number. Toward the closet. Not a record number. We've done over 100, but that's a great number. I love to see it. We're currently sitting at 971 live viewers with 968 likes. We're trying to get 1,000 likes by the end of this video. Hit the like button for Nukes Top 5. Seemingly expecting something to be inside. And then she just stands there transfixed. Almost as if she sees something that we can't. She seems to get a little spooked and leaves. And the closet door slowly closes by itself. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 has no idea what to make of this video. And about three months later, this happens. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately just different noises and stuff um, don't mind my mannequins i sew for a living so <laughs> can you tell mommy what what you just said i think there's something underneath the door under the closet door Scared you. 
It's okay. And everything's alright. What? Cheryl's daughter seems scared as she says that she sees something just underneath the closet door. But there's nothing inside except for a kind of creepy mannequin. However, the mannequin seems to start moving on its own and falls over, breaking into pieces. Cheryl and her daughter are terrified and they just get out of there. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 says that she still has no idea what happened that night and that she and her daughter are moving out to stay at her friend's house until they can find a new place to live. The old Willis place. Urban explorer Robert from the YouTube channel Sidestep Adventures into History is joined by his friend Dan to explore an old abandoned house in the woods near Waverly Hall, Georgia. Dan estimates the house to have been built or rebuilt around the early 1900s after which it was abandoned sometime in the 1960s. The house is known by locals to be the quote, Old Willis Place, named after Mr. Willis, a man who lived there and presumably also died there. Now, Robert and Dan are determined to find more clues as to exactly how old the house is. They look inside, around, and even underneath the building. Doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s. A child's room. Well, that's cool. How old do you reckon that is? That's we've old. It's we've seen this recently. Not silver. It's, it's brass, silver plated. Oh, look. They crazy. I would not have gone up under here, man. That junk does not look like it has a great foundation at all. This house is held up by old bricks. Look, uh, look at the entire stump. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an ax. Let me set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. But while inspecting the foundation of the old Willis place, the two explorers are suddenly interrupted by something downright creepy. Either this was a one-room house, or it was a two-room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's uh, been a lot of pillars replaced under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? <laughs> what is <laughs> that? <laughs> That's weird. Here. Y'all, all we need is eight more lights to hit our goal for tonight. We're going to do it before the stream is over. I'm happy about it. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was weird. All right, that's gonna... That's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... Bro, how anything come from the Robert house? Robert and Dan are taking a look underneath the house when suddenly they hear the eerie sound of footsteps on the floor right above them. What is that? <laughs> they quickly crawl out from underneath the house and look inside, but there's no one there. Then while filming the outro for the video, a loud bang is heard from the old Willis place. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... 
The two explorers are a bit creeped out by the bizarre experience. Nate and Crow say she said she scared herself and screamed out loud. And decide to just get away from the house. Yeah, we did it. A thousand likes for the live stream. Yes. Thank y'all. That's beautiful. Explore the area a bit more and then head home. So could it be that they accidentally captured a paranormal event on camera? Could it be the ghost of old Mr. Willis? You can watch this entire exploration, as well as many more surveys of creepy and historic abandoned locations, over on the YouTube channel, Sidestep Adventures into History. We need scary videos, so if you see anything that you- Yes, we do. Because the amount of 50 lemons in tonight's live stream is- Crazy. Do you think would be perfect for the top five? Send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hey, y'all, real quick, man. If y'all want to see more content from your boy this evening, I did that part two story time that I promised y'all about my scary next door neighbor. I posted that earlier today and I posted to the second channel. Y'all can go check all that stuff out when y'all get done with this. Paranormal captivity. This next video was shared to the internet by Reddit user Lauren Constantino from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Lauren says that she has recently moved into an old early 1900s house that she shares with two roommates. Late one evening, Lauren is hanging out when she spots her roommate's cat in the hallway and decides to take a short video. But as she's recording, she spots something very disturbing. What the freak was that? Did you see it? For just a fraction of a second, a distorted face appears. Oh, snap! I caught it. Look at that. Ears right in front of the cat. Shocked by what she captured, Lauren posts her video on Reddit in the hopes of getting some answers. But Reddit users are quick to point out that the face looks like it could have been made with some popular common face filters. But Lauren says that she wasn't using any kind of app or filter. She was recording directly from her iPhone's camera. But what is truly bizarre is that this face doesn't look like any face altering, makeup, or face swapping filter was used. The face is odd and twisted and has hair, eyebrows, a nose, and mouth. Yeah, don't look like nothing I've seen on any of these apps, but still. And even creepier, half of another distorted upside down face seems to appear right beside it. I don't see it. So just what is this? I leave it up to you. To decide. What's with that flash of the face though? The Router Revenant. A Jet Bueno is the proud new owner of a small internet cafe in Marilao, Philippines. Late one night, a Jet's girlfriend, Jen, drives over to the cafe to catch up on some important paperwork. Jen is completely alone with only their cat, Bulog, to keep her company. Okay. What happens next is truly bizarre. internet cafe with a bunch of computers set up man you gotta have some money for all these computers and if they're gaming quality computer systems too i mean that's some good money how much do internet cafes be charging Hey, look, y'all, the Philippines love these handmade brooms, don't they? They got another one of them brooms. I ain't even gonna lie. I would hate to use them brooms. Man, if I, when I go to the Philippines, I'm gonna have to bring my own broom. <laughs> Oh, heck no. Nah. There's a lot of activity going on in there. This is bad for customers. I'm going to have to tell my buddy that's moving to the Philippines. I'm like, bro, you sure you want to move out there? Have you seen their brooms? <laughs> oh. Oh, heck no. Nah. 
Let's see. All right, now you being disrespectful. You slinging the stuff on the floor. You trying to break the headphones? Come on, come on now. The headsets. I meant to say. Nah, this ghost gotta go. Yo, she don't seem scared. She just seems, I don't know, like a bit frustrated, like irritated. Like there's something going on. I'm trying to get some work done and I can't explain what's happening. She don't seem scared though. Headphones and a keyboard start falling. Yo, she felt that. She sensed that. When she turned that light off and she was about to get up out of there, the hairs on the back of her neck crawled. Ooh, and then something big came from behind her. What was that? From Des, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and calls her boyfriend a Jed, the cafe owner. A Jed seems to calm her down Unholy. enough that she goes back inside Thank to you. collect her things. But as Jen turns off the lights, Look at one that. of the What's chairs that? quickly slides toward her, scaring her so much that she panics and just throws her paperwork at the chair. She was like, right. forget this paperwork. Out. A jet shares his CCTV footage to his social media and asks people to keep an open mind. Now, a jet and his girlfriend, Jen, have never posted anything about the paranormal before. Right. And they say they have never experienced anything supernatural until this incident. Oh, this is crazy. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. TikTok user James Fodder bought a very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So he bought it and took it home. Yo, this That's doll, this doll, I don't know, man. Something about this doll. I don't like the hairstyle. The hairstyle look real. The face look oddly real in a way, too. I don't like this doll. It gotta go. It gotta go. He should have bought it. He should have left it there. He realized that he had made a huge mistake. Yes, he did. James huge. began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion-activated camera monitoring it. I've seen this before. I remember this exact shot right here. What he captures is downright creepy. I don't remember what happens, though. Oh, yeah, I remember this, too, kind of. Oh, snap. I already don't like this. I got, I got chills. I swear that dog better not move. I don't like this. Camera pan in the house. Doll in that chair. Oh! No, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? The camera moves around as if tracking movement somewhere in the empty room. But nothing's moving then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor in the hallway behind the doll james ex it looked like a furball explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion or it could have been a roll of tissue like that so he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there right another night of filming and when james checks his camera footage he is shocked yeah what the heck was that it's bigger than a roll of tissue, I'll tell you that much. Oh, snap. 
Dog moved. I don't like it. I don't like it. Stop. I don't want to see no more. That dog better stay in that chair. I know that much. This clip, this clip is killing me, y'all. Oh, snap. No. 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 The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't see. Then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James says that he was a skeptic before all this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. But what do you think is happening here? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Trespassers. This next mysterious video was shared to Reddit by Raphael H445, who claims that his sister recorded the footage on her property. Late one night, a motion activated security camera outside their home senses movement. This is the second time we done seen this clip tonight. The CCTV records two trespassers standing at the property gate. The homeowner heads outside to demand that they leave and clicks his car alarm to activate his truck's headlights. It lights up the two strangers as clear as day. Man, smell it, smell it, dog. If that dang on dog would have got in front of the camera, I would have passed out on the floor. Huh? Most for them to leave, mm -hmm. they don't move. Then the man heads for his truck, reaching inside and flipping on the headlights. Can't do it. But Can't the trespassers it. have disappeared. To this day, the family has no idea who they were or what they were doing there. I've seen this most disturbing the them times. Where did they go? The graveyard Flyer. A while back, I we featured a video know. by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. In the video, they visited what is said to be a haunted church and captured multiple encounters with a creepy shadow figure. Did you used to play piano here? It's, an, it's no one of them clips I've seen about 50 11 times. I don't know how Nuke's just now getting to this. This this 50 11 years old. We'd love to hear you play it, man. Hey, I want y'all to know when I be looking this way and that way, I can see what we're watching from multiple screens, multiple screens. I literally got three images of the exact same image. I can look up and see it, look down and see it, look left, right. I, I got so many places where I can see it. So I'm always watching, except for when I look at my phone. <laughs> Well, David and Dell decided to return to the church for another investigation. But this time their plans aren't to investigate the church. Because you see, just outside the church is an old cemetery with graves dating back to the early 1800s. The guys decide to investigate the graveyard for any paranormal activity. And at first, they don't really experience anything. Is anybody out here? So the guys decide to split up and explore the cemetery separately. As David wanders alone through the graves, he sees something that he just can't explain. Y'all, we got over a thousand live viewers. Welcome, everybody. I thinking that I hear something. FTL in the chat if it's your first time live with us. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure I just saw something go. I don't know what I saw. It looked like a shadow or something go to that bush. A shadow going to the bush. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a shadow. It's over here. It's over here. The bush. The bush. The bush. Jenny, when I clean my desk off, I will show y'all my setup, uh, which I plan on doing tomorrow, actually. Um, cl cleaning my desk off and showing y'all my setup. I can't do it live though. I will have to. My my camera cannot move while I'm live. But I'm gonna take a picture of it and post it on social media. The guys search behind the bush and even inside it, but there's no evidence of whatever the strange flying black thing might have been. Then Dell makes a disturbing discovery. There's a tombstone in there. There's a tombstone right here, dude. Look at that. There is a tombstone. 1842. Dude, that is freaking crazy, bro. The bush that the strange dark shape flew into is actually the marker for a grave dating back to the year 1842. So was this bizarre shadow figure one of the spirits that haunt the old graveyard? Maybe returning to its grave? And if not, then just what is this? Let me know what you think. That is something we've seen 511 times. Bell. Reddit user RileyJoss11 says that his mother's friend captured something very strange on their ring doorbell camera. What the what? It's a little after four in the morning when a translucent shape appears out of nowhere and seems to activate the ring doorbell six times before it moves away and Yo, disappears. That's now, amazing. usually I would just write this off as a spider web that's too close to the lens, but a spider web can't ring a doorbell six times. And also this thing seems to react each time the doorbell rings. Then it just moves off and disappears into the night. What? Again. Not really like a spider web. That's crazy. So could this be a paranormal event caught on camera? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. What? Through the roof. Late one night, Shally and her daughter Melody go outside to take a look at a group of cute cats that have gathered in the yard outside their home in Indonesia. Then things take a very creepy turn. Dang, that's her twin. Did you see it? Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Shally doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is so upset. It's only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shally there was something on that roof. But what do you think this is? Let me know. A part of the roof? It's hard Uninvited. to tell. Uninvited. Popular Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, strange things start to happen. Well, 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 wow. Wow. 
As soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now, obviously, Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Just an empty room. Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. Stomach hurting. Man about got the bubble guts. He need to find a toilet. something walk behind him see that he didn't notice that crazy the ghost hunter's stomach suddenly starts to growl from hunger and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something is walking up right behind him. But when he turns around, again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange attack and makes a run for it. So did Michael capture evidence of something paranormal on camera? Something trying to attack him? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It's cat, probably. I don't know. Maybe. But y'all, we made it to the end of the live stream. Three hours and 20 minutes we ran. Three hours and 20 minutes is a long time. Your boy tired, ready to get off ready to uh, relax this weekend i'll come back next week strong with some content for y'all i'm looking forward to it i got some awesome ideas some new things that i want to try that i haven't done with you guys yet but be on the lookout be on the lookout like i said if you want some more content from your boy right now i did upload that part two to the story time of my scary next door neighbor on the channel earlier and the second channel got some content as well a different perspective is the name Changing lives is the game. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Y'all be safe. Have a great weekend. And I'm going to see y'all.